not they came to you. Let's say you yeah. all right, let's let's put it in a different perspective. You mm -hmm. walking down the street, do 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 and then you see your little cousin and they like walking towards uh the fucking uh military, Recruiting. the recruiting office, and they like, mm -hmm. you know, do 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 they walking in there all proud and shit. You ain't gonna say, yo, cuz, let me holler at you real quick before you walk in that door. Or are you gonna be like, oh, hey, walk to the door. Fuck him. Fuck you, Hector. You on one tonight. <laughs>
Remember, we was talking about those videos where the chicks is breastfeeding to show off their titties. I didn't tag you on a couple of them, so you no, know. No, I, I was the one who brought that up. I never said who brought it up. I just said we talked about it, but this congratulations. This yeah, nigga wants some m &Ms. The facts, like he got really good. Eat them by the m &Ms. yeah, yeah. Make sure you have. Oh, <laughs> that's what you in there shaking like you're an old school dope boy. Yo, <laughs> yo, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and roll into this segment. We, yeah, I don't know what the fuck going already. It is what the fuck it is. All right, man, so, 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 I don't know if it's Celebrity Wire. I don't know if it's called Celebrity T. I don't even know if y'all give a fuck or know who the fuck this nigga about to talk about. But we about to get into this motherfucking hectic ass five minutes with hectic old gossiping ass. Let's go, little nigga. All right, so forgive me, but this is going to be a quick one. Pause. Um, LL Cool J admits that cannabis was his toughest rap battle and says he was a nuisance in his ass. Pause. So I guess Super where we pause. thought, I guess where we thought, uh, you know, because of LL's popularity that made him automatically the winner, it really wasn't the case. I, I actually thought cannabis came in there. I'm swinging. with you. I agree. I thought cannabis yeah. won that. If we talking yeah. that that round, those two songs. Yeah, Canvas yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, Ti has revealed that his Muppet of a son is expecting his first child. Um, congrats to that. Which one, uh, King of Damani? Which one? There's only one Muppet. He's about King. <laughs> That's fucked up. But I mean, You're he might be a good father. <laughs> we know he's he going to stand. He gonna stand on business when that little He's going to stand on some business. Shit. Right, right. He's going to stand on some business. Uh, in 1997, Master P drops his sixth album, Ghetto D. Oh, like come on, up. son. Oh, okay. Okay, don't I make me break them I'm all. trying to let you keep talking, my nigga. <laughs> when I don't say it, when I don't say it, y'all looking at me crazy. I say so, y'all look at me crazy. I don't get it. I was away. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it, but yeah. Um, yeah, was that that um, song that's on there? I wasn't a huge Master P person, but uh, yeah. No, that shit had make them say. Uh, it had that uh, one song. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that pass me the green. I need some. I had the cat, bourbon cat, like a whole bunch of shit. That was my shit right there. Okay. Yeah. Cause I know. He was, dope. Yeah. I know he was a uh, shit. I think as a label, they were coming out with albums damn near every fucking month. I it mean, was, that was, was that was, that was up. a popularity. That was popularity stretch. But the ones that was actually hitting, hitting, you know, it was like masterpiece shit. She murdered shit hit once, I think. Pause. Uh, shook the shocker. Mystical for sure was holding them down. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. That's crazy. People before sleep, he started raping bitches. People sleep on Silk the Shocker's impact though. No, I I was a huge Silk the Shocker fan. Like I don't so know why. So what the fuck did he Silk. impact? Silk was my favorite. Silk, Silk. All right, I'm going on music. When it, when you when you when you talk about rap in general from the south, a lot of people try to knock him for oh he rapping all beat. Look at all these young boys right now. Wrapping off beat, yeah, and I think, them. and I think Silk was one of the first to fuck with the North. Uh, you know what I mean, like on some remix shit because he was on Cameron's remix too. So, nah, hey, Freddie, nah. these niggas trying to say Silk was Who before his say? time. Freddie, fuck out of here. Who would you say fuck was out. the first South rapper? Probably either UGK or Scarface or uh, the first South rapper. Uh, yeah, the fuck name? with the North. Outcast. With UGK. Outcast too. The fuck with the North. No, no. Nah. It wasn't Silk the Shocker. It wasn't. It definitely it wasn't Silk, my nigga. It What's some nigga's name? Uh, I'm just, I'm legit just asking who was it? Yeah, no one can tell me who the fuck it was. I can't say for sure who, but 
I I know I've I heard Goody Ma. Nigga, Goody Ma was before Outcast. What Goody Outcast and Goody Ma? Yeah. Well, they, they were before called the Dungeon UGK, Family. Though. Dungeon Family. They was before UGK, though. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I don't remember who. Before, I'm just saying I heard other motherfuckers on songs before I heard Silk on song. Okay. Still cool on it. Still cool. He just yeah. wasn't as good as the rappers. Everybody trying to talk about. Let me hit it. I mean, nobody. Let no, I don't think it. nobody, including Silk, will ever say that he was a great fucking rapper. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. He used to say yeah. some shit though. Yeah, just like Master P. Like people try to shit on Master P. Master P. Hey man, said keep, what it he said. Like, keep it going. Keep it. Keep it going, Hectic, because he got my nigga P fucked up. Keep it going, Hectic. Uh, anyone is better than Birdman. So, uh, <laughs> this is a fact. This, this is actual facts. Uh, the mayor of New Orleans, uh, Latoya Contrell, announces Master P as the entertainment ambassador for the Super Bowl um, coming up uh, for next year. So, congrats. But, like, the NFL Super Bowl? Yeah, I'll, for the city, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I was about to say, what the fuck is he going to do? I, I put on a show like Four Jay. I, yeah, I don't know. He get uh, ain't nobody days. watching no halftime show with Master P. I fuck with no Master one, P, but I'm not up, watching no, that no, shit. So make him say, uh, you ain't gonna be like, okay, bro. Now, now, now tell me some more Is songs that you don't it? give a fuck about. I'm about to the halftime oh, show. Uh, the ice cream man. Doing? During the ice, hey, during the halftime hustler, show, hustler, baller, yeah, yeah. <laughs> during, during the <laughs> halftime show, your, that's what I'm man, saying. Man. And ice cream man. I can see I mean, if you said at the Bayou Classic or some shit, but the nigga, Bayou, yeah. get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that mean, but that doesn't mean he's performing. He's, yeah. He got the title of the coordinator, so he yeah, does yeah. the entertainment together. All right, so he go he could coordinate for somebody else to make do yeah, their yeah, music. Yeah, nah, yeah. because don't that is doesn't Pepsi still own that? Like someone they have to like pay to but, do that. Nah, but actually, ain't Jay Z still got that though? That's Jay Z's actual job now to coordinate the Super Bowls. But for the city, you know what I'm saying? He's for the city, for the yeah. He... Ah, he, so it's going to be the, gonna gonna be the Bayou the Classic. City. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, yeah. what it sounds like, she's putting him at the table to be with Jay-Z, you know okay. what I'm saying, to talk about entertainment. So he can That's sell rap snacks like. and cereal. Got you. There you go. <laughs> Damn. Uh, um, done with the Master P Valley. It's bullshit. Yeah. In uh, 28, Young Jeezy released his third album, Recession. In mm. 28. Yeah. 2008. Oh, okay. Uh, you know he's not from here. I ain't never heard nobody say 28 before. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, 28 is like in the future. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, I'm still sleepy. Yeah, uh, 2008, recession. Young Jeezy releases his third album, The Recession. Uh, I don't think... I didn't really care for that album from him. I'm going to be honest with you. That's the only full... That's the only Jeezy album I was able to listen to the whole album. Wait, that's what? Crazy. You don't listen to that? I never, I never been black. that full. That's that. I just said that's the only album I was able I know, to listen to the whole about album. I'm talking about fucking Tech, guys. Talking yeah. about him. Over yeah, Thug Motivation 101? Nobody yeah. never said that. I said that. Oh, Raw said, said that. that. Yeah. yeah that's said what I said. Oh, you did just say that goofy ass shit. <laughs> 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 I never been a Jeezy fan. I, I don't know what to tell y'all. It is what it is. I never like I I Jeezy, Rick Ross, they both Meek Mills, they the same rapper to me. They sound exactly the same on every single song. They talk about the same exact game, shit on every single song. Like I it's wait, just it's what? nothing impressive Freddy, about their music. What? Though. Last wait, time I checked, what? I was the man on these streets. They call me residue. I leave, I leave blood blood on, on these beats. Got diarrhea float. Nah, and I shit on, on niggas. And even when I'm constipated. Hey, what you Bro. talking about? All right, so so let me ask y'all a question. Is y'all finished or y'all done? We oh, you done. bird man now? You bird man now? Exactly. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> that's crazy that the recession was the one that you were able to list. I, I, I'm, I fucked with that album. I, I thought I'm, that album was tough. I'm flabbergasted on that one. Yes, wow. flabbergasted. Wow. Um, Diddy and 50 Cent's baby mama. You heard it correctly. I didn't even know they shared a baby mama. They that's probably, that's probably why they that's probably why they hate it. Hold on, wait. They shared a baby mama? 
They share a baby mom. Oh, Who wow. had her first? Probably Diddy. Probably Diddy. Um, Daphne Joy is named in a federal subpoena. Official request surveillance footage and uh, reservation records from Miami Hotel amidst rappers ongoing sex abuse. Damn, they they demoted Diddy to a rapper. That's Thanks. crazy. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, they went from music mogul to rapper. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, according to the new Ooh. site. New court documents have been uh, obtained, revealing that federal prosecutor from the Southern District of New York obtained a subpoena require a luxury hotel in Miami to turn over documents and other evidence related to the music mogul. So how are you going to call him a rapper and then go back to the music mogul? That yeah. Whoever wrote this is stupid. But uh, yeah, so at this point, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what they're... I don't know what they're trying to get out of this deal or situation, but hats off. I feel like at this point, they're just trying to find a way to fry the nigga because they can't really find nothing to fry the nigga for. Right. Like, um, he fucked a bunch of niggas. It is what the fuck it is. And, and even other people are saying, like, rich people have freak-offs. That's what rich people do. Pretty fucking much. I mean, we all knew that. Fucking, uh, what was that movie with um, Tom Cruise? Eyes Wide Shut or Eyes Wide? You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, we know that what happened. Movie, Anything I'll you leave. watch where they got some Illuminati type shit in it, yeah, it's always a bunch of dudes fucking each other in mass. Like, it is what the fuck it is. <laughs> That's what it always amounts he, he to. Said, right? He said, yeah, yeah he oh, said, yeah. remove all the bitches, and it's just all dudes <laughs> fucking each other. Yeah, that's all that shit ever fucking be. All right, so I'm going to backtrack. Tyrese is in the news again. Um, one thing he's in the news for is calling for men to be treated um, fairly when it comes to their emotional distress, which I can definitely agree upon. Mm -hmm. um, I agree with that too. That's a fact. And how when when men are going through stuff, whether it's a relationship or whatever, everyone, regardless of the situation, goes and checks on the female and never really demand to see how they're doing or listen to their side of the story. So I kind of, I kind of felt Not that. Me. Not me, like for real. I check on the dudes. Like if if somebody break up, dude and a girl, I always take the dude's side. You know what I mean? I ain't, no, I ain't like, like that now, for real. But like, this is, <laughs> nah, this is be wrong. Plus, I'm trying to fuck. So, oh, you trying to be the rebound? You the clean up I'm, woman, Freddie? I'm the clean up person. Yeah. You know, uh -uh. Betty wrote like, a song about you. Oh, uh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that you the you the you the you the buy the wine and creep up from behind chick. She said, yeah. fuck her. You want the nigga to beat it up because he's mad. That's why you want him. And then after that, he can go about his business. I didn't hey, say they that say that the that best way to get over someone is to get under someone. That is true. true but I'm just but saying. I don't, I like to be with a like-minded woman. Like, I don't want to view it like this. Sometimes, especially with my partner, I like after... Oh, he's he's my man. I like to say that now because I realize partner confuses it. Um, it does a whole fucking lot, Amron. Now, Sorry. We don't understand why you don't understand that. I don't know because I view I want to view our relationship like that, like we're partners in this. But he, my wife, my wife is definitely my partner, but you will never hear me call her that. Right, her. that's confusing in this day and age. I apologize. So, like I'm saying. I like to sometimes in situations, even when I'm mad, I, I have to be his friend sometimes. Like, I can't be this complete enemy to this. Now I have to be empathy and I give you some grace because you're a person too. Um, that have emotions and has feelings as well. Like, I think sometimes women like to take away that men have feelings. There's some type of like hard exterior that we've built upon men. Like, I even saw this weird shit on TikTok. Like if a dude got a um a power bank that's gay. What's a power bank? To charge your phone. 
Wait, what? The one that you plug into your phone, the little piece. What the no, I, 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 I get anymore. it. No, Holy I get shit. it. Of what I do as well. So, like, if I'm always out and about and, here's what and I have my camera, I could charge my camera to no, she whatever said, I need. Mm -mm. If you're a man, you need to know what to do and you should have it charged. That's what she said. Yeah, that was the excuse. That's ridiculous. I agree. But here's what I was also thinking. She made it where it was like, you know, the one that's magnetic that like just go on your oh, phone. It goes on the back, yeah, of the iPhone. Yeah, for yeah. some reason, that's masculine. With that little piece that you plug in to hang out, that's gay. Because you got to put something in it. Yeah, and if you have one of those wallets with that Velcro, that's gay. What, what grown man walking around with a Velcro wallet? <laughs> that's what she said. No, that's what she said. I, she I, said I that know. sucks. No, I know a couple people that still got the Velcro wallets because they got a bunch of shit in there, so they want to keep all their shit in there. I That's feel like all that. Jesus here's what I'm with. saying: a fucking wallet, a fucking power bank, a fucking even if my man want to put a on nigga, a fanny pack, a nigga and a celebrate shirt. his birthday, a nigga yeah. fucking laying on his stomach, yeah. a yeah. nigga drank a Ooh, fucking wait, margarita. Time out, time out. Wait, like, time it don't out, matter time what dudes do. It's wait. like, oh, he's spicy. Mm -mm. Oh, wait, my favorite out. one. Is he laid on his stomach with his booty to it though? Are you tooted? What? I but can't. Come on. I, 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 I just I, laid on my fucking I, I, stomach. Like, but I, is damn. it tooted? What the fuck? Who their ass up? What are we talking about? Like a a nigga, if you toot it, that's why would he be tooting his ass up? First of all, how would he know if he's sleep? True. You right. You're he's right. fucking sleep. Okay, I like it. Hold on, Rob, but they did also say a man who sleeps on his stomach is sus too. Yeah. Like why mm, why are you sleeping yeah. on your stomach? I, I've seen some the bitch said if a nigga if a nigga wear a seatbelt in the car while his homie is driving, he's what? suspect. I'm like, God, what the yeah, fuck? Niggas can't, do, niggas can't do nothing. The bitch I seen one, the bitch said, No nigga, no real man should be out here worrying about his birthday. I, bitch, I can't celebrate being alive. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? But it's to the point, right? Society has made it stupid. We are all humans. We are all sexual. We all have emotions. We all go through shit. Every day is not going to be the best fucking day. Bro, it's okay for you to be on a bed tooted, hectic. It's okay hey, whoa, for you to have wait. your fanny nah, pack. Nah, nah, nah. We're not doing Boom, that. It's not okay. About Whoa, uh, whoa, yeah. no, fuck out of here. <laughs> You're not going to say that and expect me to not reply to that shit, my nigga. We not doing that. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, uh, all but, that shit uh, don't matter. That's trivial. Like, if no, I mean, 100%. Person, I mean, you think we just need to stop that shit. Let people be fucking people. All right, let me let me get back to this, though. That was my little... But uh, Roland Martin... Calls Tyrese claim to that Joe Biden signed the crime bill that only protects Asian Americans a lie, and further explains there has to be actual three hate crime bills, especially for American uh, African Americans. <sighs> I don't know. I, I I'm honestly for real for real. Fuck I can't niggas, wait man. Fuck I, these I, niggas. I, I can't wait for this election to be fucking over because I'm tired of everyone pandering to black people. And then in four years, it's going to happen all over again. Yeah, facts. Y'all yeah. going to hate my section because I'm all about the election today. Hate your section because you're about the election. Man, yes, you need to be using your you need to be using your motherfucking talents for the niggas. Tired of y'all motherfucking using your talents for this mother... Keep it going. I was like, where is he going with this? Niggas. Yeah, I don't know. Speaking of niggas, uh, Amron, <laughs> without saying, hit him up. What's mm. the most fire opening line to a rap song that you've ever heard? And I know everybody was going to go straight to hit him up. That's why I took that instantly out the mm -mm. equation. Fuck, what's that shit? How hey, can start? I'm a gap tall nigga, don't know nigga on your damn like that shit. Oh, I like that shit. okay. Wait, what? I like that. That's the I most know. fire shit. I don't know. That's the first thing I got. I'm on that shit hard right now. Okay. okay. I'm um, sorry. Should I did Fat Man Scoop? May he rest in peace. Yo, we back on Fat Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boom. What did I say? Y'all gotta do. <laughs>
most fire opening song, in your opinion, in history. That's not hit him up. Come back to me. Do it has to do it has to, shit come back to? Do it has to be like a radio type shit or just my That's own a, thing? Nigga, what what okay. do you think? I got two. I got two that I always is. I got two that's crazy that you ask a question because I really do got two. So it's difficult, right? So one is the Jeezy. Uh uh if it's taking too long to lock up, bring it back. You was sold anyway. So bring it Wait, back. that one? Man, that's the man. Come on, man. When the man, what? Uh, I think I think the one that we said was probably the most. No, nah, fuck no, 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 bro. First off, before that, Doug motivation came out. All the music that was dropping in before that, uh, that that them them niggas group, bro. When Jeezy came out, bro, wasn't nobody rapping like that, bro. Nobody ever, not, in history. especially not from the south. So when he came out, like, if it's taking too long to lock up, bring it. Niggas like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this nigga? And what the fuck? Is, you, nigga. Anyways, and then the second one. Bro, you get, <laughs> you get hype, hype. Because I love music, bro. I love music. And then the second one, it's not really an intro, but it was like the way he did to Jay-Z to stop playing. I ain't with that bullshit. Niggas act like bitches. Shit, they, they, oh, my good. Hey, that was, that was, that was it right there. Don't do two right there for me, for sure. Tactic, most um, fire opening line to a hip hop song ever. Um, no Vaseline. What the fuck was the line, nigga? I was about to say what's the line. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I ain't no, 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 no Vaseline. Song, what nigga? song is that? Uh, goddamn glad you said it all. And then he went into mm -hmm. this and all of them. He's talking about fucking ice cube. So the most fire. I don't even line. know the song. I don't know. I don't the know. most fire. That's, so, that that's a hard question. Yeah, I don't know. Or or uh, God what? Damn, the Jay Z. I'm glad y'all said it all. What the fuck was so fire yeah. about that? Because he went in after that. Like he pause. went in talking about. Oh, so we ain't gonna pause Ghetto D, but we're gonna pause. He's <laughs> all right. He went in. Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Why are you asking me these hard, difficult questions right now? Like hard question. That is oh, not fucking no, calculus right now. Go, Yo, oh, no. this, 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 no, because it's Freddie. She don't know. Most fire boy. Freddie's a <laughs> hip hop head on the low. I, I don't. That still don't mean she know what she's gonna say right now. So disclaimer. This, this, um, this has nothing to do with who I am as a person. This is just a song that I know. Oh, don't pull out Bow Wow. What you about to say out there? I ain't gonna lie, you am surprised. Yeah. Boom, may say, Little Bow Wow, you just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit was hot. <laughs> Fucks with Shy. Y'all, y'all don't fuck. Yeah, he got blamed. So yeah, um, disclaimer, this is not this is not a representation of who I am, nor do I support everything that is said in this first line. But it was um it's uh uh I used to be scared of the dick, but now I throw lips to the shit. Handle hey, the <laughs> look him. What and you what? wonder and you wonder why Bitch. Boom always say what he say. <laughs> And you, wonder, and you wonder why Boom Boom literally shows up just to watch your clavicle. Just in hey, case you mm, didn't know. Mm, mm. <laughs> used to be scared of that dick, huh, Freddie? But see, but I used to um I used to listen to all of her uh, you know, her albums and stuff. So I couldn't tell you anybody else's like and that's a big catalog to think about, Raw. That's a, raw, a, a difficult question because I could think of something harder, but I'm not quite sure positive of those lyrics because I get lyrics wrong a lot. But them, I knew. I knew them. I knew them. So you knew that one? You had that one tough? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Facts, facts. All right, we're going to roll right into the next segment. What the fuck? Not. <laughs> All right, man, here's how we see it. Fuck your diploma. Fuck your PhD. Shit, while we at it, fuck them fifth graders too. Because ain't none of y'all niggas smarter than my nigga Boom. Matter of fact, hey Boom, tell these niggas to go another day, son. Talk your shit, son. 
All right, look, yo. <clears throat> so my lighting lightweight like, fucked up, so I hope y'all don't, um, you know, yeah. mind my lighting and shit, man. Right, hopefully y'all don't, man. So, um... We can't see your black ass. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Smile real quick. There you go. I got you. So, this is... I got a question. For, well, first hey, off, man... like a floating hat, I swear. <laughs> You really do though. That's crazy. <laughs> he really did though. Hit me, man. Hey yo, what? To the light. I said I can't get the light to hit me. Sound like you said the mic. I was about to say, wait a minute. Oh shit. Oh, you did though, boom. Go ahead. We can see you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Fuck these niggas. By the way, I just wanted to say that. So, you guys, uh. You guys are hip to theories, man. I wonder, do you guys got any theories, man? I got any theories, man. Because uh, my word of the day is fucking theory, right? And before y'all answer that question, man, you know, for some people, I just want y'all to know that uh, theories are pretty much your idea off of a fact. Now, if you want to go ahead and define that yourself and look that up, that's pretty much what you're going to get. I'm not about to read all that or what a theory is, but y'all pretty much know what a theory is. But I do want to know what some of y'all theories are. And then I'm going to explain to y'all a theory that I have. Um, Wait, so, is this the word of the day or theory? Yeah, the word theory, yes. Theory is the word uh, of the day, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Are you, are you, are you with me? I, I am I'm tracking. Be good. I know it's some for. people who don't have it's for good buddy. and shit, man. It... I I, okay. I talked your lingo. So, um, you talk my lingo. Yeah, yeah. Ten four. Damn, good, I buddy. can't get this one right. Anyways, um, <laughs> so what's the theory that you got, especially off the islands? What the fuck kind of theories you got, bro? What kind of theories do I have? What do you mean by that? Oh my! I fucked with the question. Boom! I can go Let first. Let me ask you. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll... ask you the question. Thank you. These motherfuckers are slow. Look, don't find so it. You didn't. You did not allow me to formulate my theory to I tell you my theory. But go ahead, Amron. My theory is this shit is all a simulation. None of this shit is real. Right now, it's aliens playing the game. Right now, and my person was poor and they had to re up real quick and wait for their parents to buy them a Robux card or some shit because my life was kicking my ass. But you know what? Thank you, alien lady, for buying the points and doing that sim shit. Because I'm hopping up. I'm hopping up. Yeah, hopping up. What That's the theory you got. just happened? <laughs> well, you know Boom what? Understood what the fuck I said? It's definitely a possibility that we could be in a simulation. I definitely looked into some like, of those things. So. You'll never be sometimes where like your life What's some shit be happening like this shit can't be real. What's your, you never oh, feel like great. that? Like, but what's your proof, though? What that we live in the simulation? Yeah. What's your? I heart mean, that makes you believe it. Like you saw the cat, like in the Matrix, you saw the cat glitch when you was walking down the street. You saw it go. Gizz, gizz, gizz. You saw that? Nah. I mean, I'm just saying the, the chain of events to my day. Sometimes I dance with crackheads, fight with fiends, and then be like, "Let's make dinner, mommy." Like it's weird. Like yeah, this you shit can well, what what type of Amron? Hey, let's make this one. Yeah, yeah, you in the hood, hood. That's, that's not a simulation. That that means you you just in a colorful place. <laughs> <laughs> no, Freddie. No, Freddie. I be in regular places, just and oh, crackhead just coming. jump out at you and be like, "Ha, bitch, I got you." <laughs> <laughs> you need your mold. You need your grass mold. You know how they be moving the shit. So you I feel mean, like you honestly, I haven't seen a crackhead in about 10, 15 years. Facts. I thought they went away. I thought we were Yeah, was I thought they were them. extinct. Yeah. No, they, they turned into head. They well, into head. But you feel like you live in a GTA, like Grand Theft Auto, like that's like it's a possibility. Facts. facts. Okay. Like sometimes it'd be some shit like why the same shit just keep being on repeat? Like a like the fuck? It's the same fucking scene. Ain't nobody changed their clothes in four five days. Like this shit. Like <laughs> where the fuck is? Where are we? Mm. Interesting. And I also could do something with like parallel parallel universes, uh, multiverses. Yeah. Uh, but here's can... the thing, Carrie. 
here's the thing. If y'all start paying attention, not to the A characters in your life, not to the B characters in your life, it's the C characters in your life. The people just in the background in the scene, they be in the same position doing the same things all the time. Like it's weird as fuck. So pay attention. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a. What if those people just have a? I'm mad with life? you with them little hands though, for real. I was just waiting for somebody <laughs> to say something because in my mind I'm sitting here like she keep putting these little ass hands in her mouth and nobody said nothing. <laughs> Because I'm like, that's why I feel like I'm in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie, I, I can almost agree with you. Like, okay, the trash come at 10 o'clock. Okay, they cut the grass on Monday at 2. Oh, I'm fuck, you. I forgot to take my but, trash out. But what I'm saying is, Jim eats a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day at 9 o'clock because that's the type of spectrum he's on. Period. Like, he wears a yellow oh, no, shirt Freddy. every Wednesday. Well, they do say, have y'all ever, have y'all ever seen y'all neighbors like with groceries or grocery shopping? Yeah, um, I barely see my neighbors. So we got a neighbor that's directly across the street from us, and my wife calls them the cannibals because they never got no trash to put out ever, <laughs> <laughs> like ever. Like everybody on the block got trash <clears throat> out on trash day, and they never got nothing. And we know the motherfuckers got to eat because they're not real people, raw. They're your background. Them eating the plastic and everything. Like, I don't know what the fuck. No, nope. it's they're getting feed it straight in from the upload. Listen, mm. pay attention. Maybe, maybe I am dealing with uh, NPCs because these motherfuckers be asking, the, okay, so these people be asking the dumbest questions. I'm like, are you, are you, how long you been alive? Like, it's only so here. many. Yeah. So, so many Just real people, man. Uh, most people going to be cheap. Hey. They're not simulations. They're aliens. That's a possibility, too. Possibility. That could... <laughs> oh, why are some of them... Fi- I don't know. Maybe all mine fiends. They're saying know. they walk among us and shit, man. But that's a whole different story, man. I might... Uh, Nigga, y'all seen Men in Black? On. I was just about to ask that question. Y'all seen um, Men in Black? Fuck you mean? So have y'all seen World War Z? Yeah. That's my zombies. Yeah. I mean, that's Z. Excuse me. Excuse me. World at War is with, with the... Thing. Who the fuck with that? Oh, because like, I was thought we running from fucking zombies. Them fucking quick world, ass world, world at war. Yeah. World at and war. And the motherfuckers was was smart as shit too. Yeah, yeah, them was some bad. Yeah, I, I read the Walking Dead zombies for real. Hell yeah, yeah. Um, time. <laughs> they got smart at the end of that shit too, though. But anyways, though, check this out, though. Right. So pretty much, all right. So we all made of these motherfucking atoms. This is my theory, right? This is a theory that I have. We're all made yeah, of atoms. Can, can right? we can we wrap this up quickly though? I mean, mm-hmm. shit, we just talked about a whole bunch of other shit for about five minutes during my segment. So don't disrespect my shit. You feel me? I'm just saying we don't have a 10-minute rant. I don't have well, it built in anyways, me today. Well, anyways, anyways, you about to learn something here. We ain't finna talk about Diddy and Master P. You feel me? We finna talk about some real shit. All right, now. So, we all Put the timer much- on. This nigga here. You ain't gonna never learn. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook, Emron. Thank you, mama. Anyway, so we all pretty much made of fucking atoms. Everybody familiar with atoms? Yeah. All right, so I hope y'all is. If the audience ain't, I'm gonna hip y'all to atoms. Atoms is like pretty much the smallest motherfucking thing you can motherfucking get to. And the only way that it can actually really work is with like electrons, protons, neutrons, some negative electrons, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. Everything that you motherfucking see and touch is a motherfucking atom. Some of them are solid, some of them are motherfucking liquid, whatever the motherfucking case may be. Everything that you see and motherfucking touch is an atom. Technically, you can't even touch anything because atoms do not touch, but that's a whole other story, and we ain't finna get into that. But, this is my theory. The way that atoms work is you pretty much got a little ball pause, then you got a whole bunch of other little balls, electrons, neutrons, protons, whatever, and they're circling around this atom. This is what's giving it the energy, right? If you zoom out, and the reason I asked if anybody's seen World at War is because at the end of that movie, it zooms all the way out into outer space. Once you get past outer space, it zoom past out past the Milky Way, all this other shit. At the end of it, it's a little drop of water falling off a leaf of this big-ass tree. Pretty much what they're trying to say is we could be as small as a motherfucking atom that we could fit inside of a water drop, right? So this is my theory. This is just my little personal theory. The only reason why I believe that and they throw these shits in the movies 
is because if that's how Adam works, one ball in the middle, then all these other ones circled around. Ain't that the same thing that we do to the sun? Ain't that the same thing that the moon do to us? So if you zoom out on a bigger scale, doesn't it almost seem like the earth and the moon is an atom or the sun is a, a big ass atom? You know what I'm saying? That we are just the neutrons. And, I don't know. So when we talk about elect, I mean, when we talk about uh, simulations and shit or other weird ass shit, just know that shit is motherfucking small. And we could just be small as fuck. That's all I got for y'all. That's my theory. And that's, that's all it. I know is <laughs> when I come, oh, I come for real. Pause. <laughs> you think like, hey, and you start from that small ass atom too, man. That little small ass sperm cell. You feel me? Wow. Freddy, Freddy Simone. Because <laughs> we all for that shit. Uh, Freddy Simone. <laughs> Do you prefer uh, chivalry or equality? Chivalry. Why? But you gonna take my food stamps? That is true. What'd you say? But you won't no, take my food nigga. stamps. <laughs> this nigga with these little hands, though. <laughs> I'm you prefer shivery, but you won't take my food stamps. Go ahead and send them to me. <laughs> I'm not gonna go anyway, back. Go ahead. That, but that has nothing to do with chivalry or equality. That was that was a different type of thing. But I, I'd rather take chivalry because they say it's dying. You know what I mean? And I'd rather uh keep something alive. You know, for Keep historical alive. purposes. Yeah, for historical purposes. You know. We're losing so at a high favorite. rate right now. Yeah. They say chivalry is dying, is going extinct. So you ready to have some more babies? Because us men can't do shit. You ready to have some more babies? I don't, I don't like to say all of that, but that's what they like to say. They. I say they. Who I is mean, they? Them. Them that you're talking about that that be like the, the the them that get you all fired up and mad, boom. You know what I mean? The the ones that I know who get me fired, fired up and mad. I know exactly who get me fired. I don't need no them day. I know exactly who the fuck be pissing me off. Okay, so them. <laughs> the government niggas. Niggas piss you off. I was okay. Hell yeah, I, I don't he like niggas no more, man. Me too. <laughs> I thought the list, I I list was way longer. Hey, hey what, what was the movie? Was it Happy Gilmore? What was the movie where the dude was checking off, like, uh, Adam Sandler? <laughs> oh, he, yep. he just freeze? Yep, uh-huh. Hell yeah, uh -huh. damn Skippy. Woo, boy, you talking that shit. He going, look, he going to come back and do <laughs> Exactly. He gonna come back again. Like, what happened to y'all? Yeah, it was all of y'all that was frozen. <laughs> y'all did freeze. Y'all uh -huh. <laughs> did. Freeze. I heard. I heard y'all. We can not hear you at all. Uh, but what was the movie where the dude scratched Adam Sandler called him and apologized and he scratched his name off the list? Not sure. But that's boom. Roger that, Amron. Chivalry or equality? Equality. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a mix of both. So I don't know. You don't have to open the door for me all the time. Nah, fuck that. But, but yeah, I because here's the thing, Freddie. I don't even think about it. I'm so fucking impatient. Like you out, I'm out. Let's go. No, I like I gotta wait for you to walk all <laughs> the way <laughs> around. If there's something heavy, lift that shit, please, motherfucker. Please. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I'm cool with that. I'm okay with you I'm lifting gonna something. Because some they're going to be like, you either get one or the other, girl. No, that's, a that's, Look, a that's a fact. Look, that's why I said a mix of both. You I just, I don't know. Too. I'm cool with everything but that door shit. Sometimes that's so annoying. Why, well, you don't like the door open? I'm, sometimes I'm okay. I got it. Mm, you want to show them that you're the big boss. I got you. No, I don't. Is, it, is that what that means? I don't know. I'm just saying. I was, told, want... I was told by um, some men, if I touch that door in their presence, I'm going to get fucked up. So I'd rather mm. not touch the door in their presence. Like I thought you was about to say, 
if you touch, if they, no, nah, ma, go ahead. I thought something <laughs> different. Basically, That's like, crazy. you know, you're gonna beat your ass for opening the door for yourself. Okay, it's a good dude right there. And not that way, but yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, not that way. Like he didn't hit you hard or anything. He just slapped you a couple times. Ain't nobody hit you. <laughs> he just, he just like, gave her a love taps. Right, just a little love tap. Like four <laughs> fingers. Just he just shook her clavicle a little bit. You know. Like, Why are you hitting me? Because you opened the door for yourself, bitch. <laughs> oh, wow. The fuck I tell you about taking the trash out. Boom, Stupid bitch. <laughs> Do you believe in chivalry or equality? Uh. I used to be on that shiverish shit. You feel me? But these hoes don't deserve that shit. These hoes deserve equality. They think they motherfucking equal. Bitch, I'm not getting up. If I'm on the bus, bitch, I'm not getting up. I work long as you, and my feet hurt too, bitch. You got to be pregnant. And then, I ain't the baby daddy, so I still might not get up. I might get up for the grandma. But some of them... I'm going to ask somebody for the old lady boom. No, because some of them old hoes don't deserve that respect either. See, they think because of they... Oh, don't mean that they didn't do a whole bunch of hoish ass bullshit when they was young. Now all of a sudden they didn't live their whole bullshit ass hoish life. Now they old. They supposed to get some respect. No, old bitch, old. you old, and you was an old yeah. bitch, and not because you was a young bitch. That nigga you said a that bullshit bitch. ass hoish life. <laughs> <laughs> and now they want some respect because they oh, you was able to make it through a whole life, bitch. You was fucking sixty years old. You was a hoe for forty years. We're not doing this. Now you want some respect because you made it through that? So, no. I believe in equality. No, I'm just playing. I love my women. I love you, women. Um, hey, yo. Chivalry. Right. You chivalry. called them about 10 bitches. <laughs> <laughs> bitches, hoes, everything. <laughs> Which do you believe in, Hector? Um, ask me the question again. Do you believe in chivalry or equality? I am a gentleman, so I'll say chivalry. I feel like you're lying to us right now. <laughs> you oh, you don't believe I'm a gentleman? No. He's oh, a porn I, star. I, I open mad porn... doors for hoes. <laughs> you open mad doors for hoes. <laughs> <laughs> When I pee on them, I make sure they mouth be closed and everything. Uh, right. I'm a good nigga. Yeah. That hectic. Yeah, I ask consent and shit. Hey, is it okay for me to I tinkle now? I'll put a towel Thank down. You. And, you know. yeah. hey. It's okay for me to tinkle now. It's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Where's the chivalry in that? That's what I'm saying. Oh, my ask, goodness. You fucks with that. <laughs> Like I wipe, I wipe it down when we done. I I go get the I go get the. Oh rag. no, I ain't do. I don't do all that. I'm the man. Oh, you gotta go get the. You gotta go get the towel. If she can't see, if it's all, if she can't see. Oh, I'll yeah. help her. I help. I guide her to the bathroom. Damn. Mm -hmm. Even yeah, at you your house. The eyes too, bro. You don't try and miss the oh, eyes, bro. Wait, wait. So we're in the garden tub. If I'm pissing on it, so I don't have to. Mm. She's already there. She just turns on I'm the water. I'm just talking about a regular. Oh, if I if I splooge on her, yeah. If I splooge on her, I'm a good aimer, so I'm gonna make sure not to get in her eyes, so, so she still could go. So do you what get she needs upset that I say that bitches eat dick, but you say <laughs> shit like splooge and cram. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> he does. Like what the fuck? Like I don't. What it, yo, ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying this now because it's gonna happen. We are gonna do a book of hectic episode for sure. All of hectic's turns, he will he will give the full definition. We want to know if they adverbs, adjectives, nouns, pronouns, all of that shit. And I it's, guarantee you got the most part. Well, well, splooge is definitely probably gonna be a. Uh, a verb, the act of her to spooge. spooge. Yeah. Um, spooge before spooge. Yeah, but no, I'm a gentleman. Um, yeah, like most, and, uh, I hate to put this out here, but most time a female's with me, like she don't really have to go into her wallet. Like not because I guy like that, but like if I feel like we're going out somewhere as a gentleman, that's how I was just, not really brought up, but that's just, huh? 
if you're on a date or it's not like a casual not, not even a date even like if it's like a homegirl or something i just be like so, so if, let's say let's say we all in vegas right? no nope we I, that that's out. not even where i was going hectic we, we, i didn't even ask like, a question we're, we're canceling that out now. It, so ask a different question. What Can I ask this? Hectic? Canceling what out, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hectic. Here's my question: Do you ever get treated? Do bitches ever treat on you? Um, I've had one uh, send me a little cash app. Okay. Like All what right. So it? fuck that. I'm asking my question, nigga. We in <laughs> Vegas, right? Yeah. We all going to let's say fucking I don't know. Sonic, we all going to Sonic. The drive through, the drive. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we're going to we get Sonic hot dogs. Nigga. No, we're not. Where the fuck the New York like accent hot dogs. come from, my nigga? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what accent that is. Yeah. All right, getting hot dogs. All right, let's change it up. We going to yeah. Jack in the Box. We all going to get some grub, yeah. right? So fucking right. grub. <laughs> Nigga, all right, we walk in into out. a restaurant. What the fuck? Yeah. Anything. <laughs> Damn. No boozy ass niggas. Don't nobody eat crack in the box. Well, yeah. on, oh, I'm yeah. definitely. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Definitely, yeah. I'm yeah. definitely. I'm definitely. Oh, you can say. You can say White I know, Castle. If I anywhere I go, Ooh, if I, I see Jack White in the box, I if I see White checkers, Castle. I gotta get. We can get a crave case. Hell, Jack in the box. I had Jack in the box last night. That shit was disgusting. I hate I Jack, like in Jack in the Box. box. That's the weirdest but restaurant regardless, ever. Regardless, motherfuckers, we okay, go go to ahead. a restaurant. <laughs> we about to get something to eat. Amron look over and say, ooh, hectic. You look like you get bitches. Let me pay for your food. You gonna let her pay for yeah. it? Uh, it'd definitely be hard for me. Pause. Why? So here's my question. It would have to be a situation where it's like it just, you out have to be one of those situations. Say it one more time. Like, you know when you go, like, to the bathroom and you really just go pay for the shit beforehand so the check never comes. It's already paid for it. Never had that, but sounds great. Hold on, you saying you wouldn't let everyone pay for your food? Y'all never been in that situation for your birthday? Like, you go out with somebody, like, the check just never comes. Man, no. any one of you niggas get paid for my food? What the mm. fuck is this nigga talking about? If y'all niggas offering, nigga, I am accepting food. Pretty, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, no, you but I, I if just... you ask, if you say raw, you want me to buy you a suitcase even though I don't need it? Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm not going to ask you that. I'm just but yeah. I might say I got it. Like if we had, if we had, well, yeah, if, if, if food, I'm gonna be like, I got you, bro. But other than that, I ain't. Well, yeah, it's I don't know. I, right, I I can tell you why I'm like that. I don't like people holding shit over my head. Did I bought well, you a burger? I don't really. What about when fuck. I bought you a double cheeseburger two weeks ago in Vegas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll punch you in the fucking throat. I hate people. As like you that. should. That's weird. Yeah. Why would somebody do that? Nigga, so I don't even. So I don't even put myself in those situations. I real, could give real. a fuck if you remember that shit or not. Thank you. Yeah. All right. It was a fucking burger. All right. Yeah, but I don't like to put myself in those situations. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, that's that's wild. So you ain't gonna so, let a nigga buy you a burger because you scared they gonna tell you they bought you a burger? Why you I like scared? the situations where the check never comes. Because yeah, when people yeah. know you're buying them a meal, sometimes they don't get what they want, really. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. They, you, Amron, you ain't got to worry about that with me. You just hey. you buy me See, I burger. can tell you that now. You ain't got... I'm so even whatever I'm ordering. The reason I say I'm ordering whatever I'm ordering is because regardless if you pay for it or not, I'm going to... So yeah. I'm not worried about it. So, so my I have a I had a client and she would like after the gig, she would be like, let's go out to eat. Da, 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 da. I got it. I'm like, cool. But I make sure whatever I fucking order is something I can afford. Yeah. yeah. Just well, in that, case, you ain't want to let a nigga buy you a burger because you were scared they was gonna tell you they bought you a burger. If nigga my money funny, me. I ain't going, period. No, that's if, how I feel about it. Yeah. Do you want to buy the nigga a burger? Do you want to buy hectic a burger? Is that what? The, what is this? I like In and Out. We can hit up an In and Out out of Vegas. I'll fucks with an In and Out. Yeah. Man, I'm basic ass oh. burgers. I'm just. Oh. We go animal style. We never. I never order what the menu says. I go. Yeah, off let's the menu. do that. I don't even know that means. Animal style. Ah, okay. I hear you what is it, nigga? You go. I ain't. You gonna say I'm okay? <laughs> yeah. I didn't answer no uh, questions, nigga. I'm not putting it out here for the public. There isn't for in and out. There's the menu, and then there's off the menu, and you have to know what to order off the menu. 
if as soon as you say it, all you get is a plain ass. So, let me, and so hold on. This nigga really gatekeeping the in and out menu selections. Yeah, so we doing? Here, bro. Hey, he, just he like I just like out. I had to look it up, y'all look the shit up too. Like, when I go to In and Out, about this? When about I go this? to In and Out, I know like, exactly what to order. Fuck you and that animal style menu. Man. How about that shit? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we gonna play some motherfucking music. <laughs> All on the table, baby. Bum. Yeah. You all ready? Check. Yeah, I'm way too important to be talking about a story. Fucking with minds and yours be in the coffin. This is more than recording. Of course, I'm a zipper who talking slicker in his feelings. Cause I fuck one of his sisters, you missing the bigger picture. I put her on bank, I should be thanked. My lifestyle's documented on paper. And Frank, that man hating cause I'm kicking. It's my dope boy season. She on my dick on me for no known reason. I wouldn't. Far as my showmanship, I know this. Out of trench, baby's loving. Shorty's conniving, I'm enlightened. But I'm just trying to fuck her, it's really nothing. Discussion about money and major plans. Farm currency and acres of land. Who would have known romance shit? I got his man, bitch, up in the sky. Box. Retro Jordan ones, oh yeah, they hot tops. I'm balling like eye drops. Louis Vuitton socks, a Victor Town watch. Phones out whenever I'm seen. The walking hot now, but I'm winning. The feeling's different. I'm faced with major decisions. The came is a Havana. We might just go for the winner. Depending on the money, look, we might do both. We on the yacht, baby girl. This ain't a boat. Nah, this ain't a boat. <laughs> Yeah, we on the yacht, baby girl, this ain't a boat They hoping I slip, the nut shit, they want me clipped out here I'm getting there, they bust these bitches on my dick out And I ain't never ran, let alone told her took the stand Getting money, it's always been in the plan I've always kept in the band The fans of my music want me to lose it I'm the slickest nigga talking, don't confuse it I lead the track with contusions The coupe not a forum, but I be drawn With some bitches out his length about in Florence I'm something of real importance Choices I've made gotten me paid, but on the road to the riches with bitches, I often stray. Play my cards right, living the boss life, and got my bars right. And I'm a cop, whatever my nigga, fuck what it costs like. I talk like I'm supposed to be on, mostly be drawn, and got my jewelry on wherever I'm at. You're misinformed, I was born in, while some was sworn in. Now here's your warning, ends up with the preacher at the pulpit, serenading the coffin. I'm back on my shit, you know my twist. Four ounces in the pink Sierra Mist. Yeah, now that I'm winning, the feeling's different, I'm faced with major decisions. The game is a Havana, we might just go for the winner Depending on the money, look, we might do both We on the yacht, baby girl, this ain't the boat Nah, this ain't the boat Yeah, we on the yacht, baby girl, this ain't the boat They hoping I slip, the nut shit, they want me clipped out here I'm getting at it, plus these bitches on my dick out here True story Weirdest thing a dude ever asked you while you were out, like as it's like Riz line to pick up on you. Um, this one was shocking. Um, first of all, y'all gotta explain what this Riz terminology is because that's so wild. pretty much yeah, Riz yeah. is yeah. short for charisma in oh, Gen Z yeah. language. So, what's your Riz like? What's your game? What's your you know how you spit it? How you get your girls? First of all, that shit's annoying. Just say, "How do you pick?" Up? Like, speak fucking. What's your, yeah, yeah. What's your pickup line? Y- y'all not, y'all not nineteen through twenty five. I get so it. Y'all don't get it. That it's must be the terminology. Yeah, I'm mad that y'all get the terminology. I thought um, we were grown. Like, grown. I told you, I'm twenty seven Monday through Friday. Got you. Right. So, so you stay hip to the game. 
I'm on the game. I'm in the game. Got you. So yeah. So, so dude came up behind me at the um we was at a bar and stuff. How far behind you? Because they say like, you got a wagon. I mean, no, 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 no. You see how high she sit in her chair, right? <laughs> I, was, I was in a chair. I was <laughs> I was sitting. In fact, I was sitting next to my sister. <laughs> And we were sitting on the uh the chairs and stuff, and he came up to me to my right. And you know, it was a little um it was a little hot in there, and my hair was a little um like it started like poofing up just a little bit. And he oh, came up cute, though. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, but um he came up to me and he was like, you know, I know your hair is real, girl. And I'm like, Oh, okay, yep. He was like, I smelled it and I could tell. And I was like, bruh, like, you already, like, I didn't even know you was be that close to me yet. You know what I mean? So that was, um, that was weird. That was, so he's uh, saying your hair didn't smell like weed. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess that. So he ain't yeah. walk up to you and say, if I could arrange, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'll put you and I together. Nah. Nah. He ain't say no corny shit like that because <laughs> he said he can smell that. your hair. That's like what the fuck? He got laughed at still, like, nigga, why is you smelling my hair though? Like, you know, so like, what if he what what if, what if that's not the hair he was referring to? Even Ooh. still, like that's weird. <laughs> Ooh, your nasty bottle. That's weird. <laughs> is it is it hot in here or is it just you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he be like, you'd be like, oh, girl, yeah, yeah, my hair. He's like, nah, not that one. Nah, Emron must be a broom because he slipped me off my feet. You know what I'm saying? Man, hey. You got, you got the corny things in tuck right now. What I would do is get my drink and move across the other fucking side of the room on you, like that corny nigga over there. Stay far away from. <laughs> wow. like, so, hey, Freddie. Hey Freddie, straight moody. Hey, other Freddy. way. Hey Freddie, it's a good thing I got my library card. I'm I got I'm you out. Got the library card. Wow. wow, I got a library card as well. <laughs> so, so well, I can you tell out. you, I can tell you a story of when my homeboy introduced me to this girl, and she looked familiar, right? And <clears> so <throat> I went up to her. I'm like, "Hey, you look mad familiar." She's like, "Oh, I don't know." I was like. Didn't we fuck? Mm-mm. And she was like, no, I don't think so. I was like, yeah, that's true. You would remember. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that time was- out, time you- out, time out. So you never fucked her? No, she looked like someone I fucked, though. For real, for real. That was... <laughs> <laughs> that was mad. That was corny. That was stupid. No! But it was, I was for real, for real. Like, I was, it wasn't yeah. no line. That's exactly what I said because I was like, nah, we fucked. Like, you were, you look like this chick I fucked a while ago. But then you would say, like, nah, you would remember if we. She would have. She would have. But that's what I'm saying. That's how, like, that's how confident you are. Maybe she did forget. Maybe it was and she counted nah, you off. She, like, nah, nah. Uh uh-uh. uh. I ain't fucking. Nah. Fuck nah. fuck nah. the, the chick that she mm-hmm. reminded me of. She had that kung fu grip with the pussy. She used to be able to milk the dick. That shit was whoo, whoo, oh, different. All right, yo, yo, I'm gonna need you to stop making these spicy ass noises. <laughs> this fucking story, right? What? I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need you to cut that shit the fuck out. Man. I think you're about to get signed to Amron Records. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, her uh, her pussy was. He thought he going to Amron Records. Her okay. pussy was definitely different. Hectic desire ass sound effects. The fuck yeah. is going on here? My bad. She has some good ass box. Okay. And... Mine was direct. Wait, Speaking mine was one. direct. <laughs> Damn. It could be something you needed to know or something you don't give a fuck about. It could be something that's going to save your motherfucking life. Or something that's gonna hate you like, man, what in the fuck? But let's get into these motherfucking fun facts with Am Am. Let's get it. Hey y'all, and more fun facts with Amron. 
So I want to remind you guys. I know we Fun talked facts about with no who? one wanted. Huh? Fun facts with who? Imran. Yeah, Ant Man. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Fun facts with Ant Man. So, like I was saying, I know y'all were talking about how y'all didn't want to talk about the election, but I'm real serious about voting. Um, fun fact about me personally, my grandmother actually really did march on Selma. So voting the rights of 1965, like she was out here in the trenches, like fighting with dogs and shit. So I was always grown up with the fact that your right to vote is something serious. Like, don't play about it. So if y'all don't want to vote, I get it. If you don't want to go out there just checking boxes, please don't. But if you want to give a fuck about what's happening, you know, about some shit that you could care about a little bit, the roads, the kids' school, why little Tay Tay don't got a Chromebook no more that he can bring home, you know, go to the polls. Just to let you know, the date of election will be November 5th on a Tuesday. Again, it's a Tuesday, not another day of the week. Don't be like, oh my God, it's Friday. Y'all did it already. Yes, Tuesday, November 5th, 2024. Now, if you guys were interested, I wanted to mix in some fun facts. Artists have actually ran for political positions. Were you guys aware in 2020, Kanye West actually did run for president? Y'all remember that? Yeah. yeah he actually had 60,000 people actually vote for him. He was running for the birthday party. I thought that was cool. But moving past that, y'all remember why Clef from the Fugees? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he ran for Haiti. Yep, but did y'all know he wasn't a resident of Haiti when he ran? Yeah. That's why he couldn't win, Get which I thought was kind of stupid. He, he's born up here. Right. right. He he knew he wasn't a resident when he decided that he was going to run for president. I feel so, like you should know what the qualifications are before you be like, I'm going to do this. Right. Moving past that, were you guys aware that Tupac Shakur had political aspirations? Yeah. I, was, I thought that was a fun fact. But also... Did you know Scarface? Because we were just talking about him. He also ran for city council in 2019. Mm -hmm. I think I, I remember reading about that. Yep. And a lot of a lot of people did say they definitely was trying to vote for him. Facts. I think he actually was somebody that could have done something. But did y'all know Uncle Luke actually ran for a position as well? Yep. For Miami-Dade County. He mm -hmm. ran for mayor. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, he came close to winning, didn't he? <clears throat> yeah. He actually did. He came very, very close. I don't know about Uncle Luke. I think that might have been interesting, but shit. Well, didn't they have a crackhead, the fucking mayor of DC, like two years ago? I mean, you. I mean, I would rather Uncle Luke, someone who fought for the, you know, the uh, amendment of free speech. You see what I'm saying? Like, really, really fought for I'm the freedom saying, of free speech. If a crackhead can do it, anybody can do it. But also, get out there and vote. Give a fuck about what happened to the kids. And if you really care about why Lil Tank Tank ain't got his Chromebook no more, figure out what's happening at the fucking school. Thank you, guys. Fun facts with Amron. Yeah. Fucking kids. <clears throat> I was, I'm surprised Bull may have nothing more to say. I just yeah. said, fuck them kids. Mm. When I was talking about voting and all type of shit, I'm like, he gonna stop my shit and go hard. But I felt no, like I my gonna... grandma got bit by a dog. So we can vote. Hey, so I ain't gonna thing. lie. That that ain't gonna work with me though. Now, if you tell me grandma dead, you know, we can't joke about grandma, but you're gonna tell me grandma was marching, I'm gonna tell you that ain't gonna work with me. But I'm gonna let you she ride out. So I'm gonna let you and hey, listen. I'm gonna let hey, you man, we gotta me. cut out this whole somebody died so we can't crack jokes on them shit. Fuck all of that. I ain't gonna crack no jokes, but I don't wanna listen, I don't wanna disrespect nobody's grandmother by saying how I felt about them people marching. How did you feel, nigga? Yeah, I was like, oh, was clearly, you know? oh, clearly you were a trumpet thumper back then too. <laughs> <laughs> first off, nigga, for your information, Trump was a Democrat when he first started out. Secondly, all the niggas wanted to be motherfucking Trump fanatics a long time a motherfucking ago. So we ain't gonna just switch up now, but it just shows the character of our people nowadays, mm. and we just gonna leave mm. it at that. Um so boom, um, here's yeah. my question. You got a MAGA hat? No, I don't. He got, don't. he got them Trump, uh, them Air Force Trumpers. He been in the truck a lot too much. That's that's what that is. You've been with the trucking people. Yeah, like, they be like breaking, they like like breaking, breaking one nine. You've been in the flying J's talking about, yeah, brother, yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Trump gonna fix our taxes. He gonna make yeah. it. We get all these cuts. See, that's so much. That, that's that's the problem right there. That's the whole problem because it's like it's so opinionated, right? It's like. 
I don't fuck with none of them bitches. That's the crazy thing. And so you don't want to holler with Kamala, man. Fuck Kamala, and fuck Trump too, for real. Like the thing is, them niggas eating the good eggs. Them niggas get the good shit that come in straight off the coast of New York and California. They eat good. And then they give us the scraps still to this day, just like they did the slave members. We getting all this motherfucking starched up uh, motherfucking uh, pesticides and shit and motherfucking Facts. steroids. Food and, shit deserts our are real, food, and they get the motherfucking good shit before they even give it to us. And if you ask me, Trump and Kamala be having conversations on the late night. I don't know what it's about, but I know they be kicking it. They know where the spots at that we you don't You think they know. caking? Man, listen, I don't theory. think they're caking. I don't think they're caking, but I ain't gonna lie like, to you. I think that... they stupid. All right, so what that mean, I think, caking? I th- they did. Like, they you know, like... fucking around. When you yeah. know, hectic. I don't know what it mean, hectic. <laughs> me. That's why I asked what it mean, hectic. <laughs> like, like, little <laughs> baby. You know, you sweet talking on the phone. Yeah. Like, you, okay. You be on for two, three you hours. You caking yeah. on the phone. Yeah. I think yeah. beef cake. We used to call it beef caking, but. I, I, they definitely, they definitely be kicking it, bro. And I think that it's three, and I'm done after this. I think that it's three races. I think that is motherfucking black, African, whatever you want to call it, melanated, white, and government. Simple. You know what? I feel like, unfortunately, race is starting really to apply to how things are really being seen in the country. It's more of a class system. Class system, and yeah. Yeah, more people are unfortunately becoming more lower class. I think that I think that if you're not born government, we we'll don't give a fuck about you. Real simple. Well, what people fail to realize is the Republicans, I feel to me, what I feel like I observe, they want to bust out the middle class, period. They don't want that middle class people to exist so much. They want mm-hmm. a lower class and then the upper people. I can believe that. Those so like some some a whole bunch of slave niggas in the fair yeah. out this bitch. I mean, if you look and at everything dang. in the middle, the mid the 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 brunt of the country's cost and everything is on the middle class, and it just keeps getting mounted so can up. Can I say this to you? To, on on agreeance with you, um, it's not the fact that it's more Republican or Democrat. It's that they both fucking us. Like the Democrats, they've been telling us they gonna do something for us. They only come fuck with us, just like we said earlier. Every four fucking years, they come and get us, put everybody on stage. Ha ha ha! We love niggas, and then they try and figure out what they gonna do niggas for another four to eight years until yeah. somebody else come in talking about they actually gonna do something. You know, and the same thing with the Republicans. We already know they gonna fuck us because we ain't got the money, even though we spend the most. Why don't we got the money? Because our own stupidity. But um. I think that what it is. Dr. Up Umar been thing. preaching this for years. I know, but I have a question, y'all. Really random. If I offered housing for Opulence Radio, would you guys be willing to live there and just kick out shows? Live? How much like you pay? Like, like on no, no, a compound? No, 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 no. Fuck all that. How much you paying? Yeah. See, that's the thing. Think about it. Like, You're man, not my pay is housing. Low. My pay is not housing. They always looking for some motherfucking money. They always looking for some money. You ain't you ain't hey, about to else, pay me with three hots in the cot. We ain't doing that shit. <laughs> yeah. what, boom! How can we see a dream if we what we going to eat with? What we going to pay our own bills with, nigga? What you mean we dream? We got no bill, nigga. First off, nigga, Why you gonna live in another house, eat? nigga? That saves you twenty two hundred. So basically, so basically, you telling me you gonna give me housing? And nothing else, and I just gotta constantly pump out shows. Like we just gonna focus. And then in three months we get a twenty million dollar check. We split that motherfucker, and we don't even worry about. Yes. I just I just asked how much she started. paying, and she she. No, I see the dream, M. Rob. But I'm gonna like, feed you light internet. You can though. talk to your wife every two days. Every two. What? Every two. What? Every two. We're busy, hey, so, okay? So hold on. Speaking of content, right? Do y'all think that cancel culture has destroyed the freedom of speech? Hell Not yeah. Not destroyed it, but um, definitely has made people... Um, bitches now. Aware and conscious because oh, they're, they're, conscious. Going, they're going back 10, 15, 20, 30 years on some people too. And it's just like, come on now. I'm not the same person I was five oh, years ago. They completely canceled Pepe Le Pew. Oh yeah, facto. Because he was a per he was a predator. Yeah. That was, that was the I whole love point. Yeah. That was the whole but point. See, yeah, he's gone. He's gone now. Like he's you if you haven't noticed, you don't see him on anything. 
He's going. I mean, I, yeah, but I, 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 haven't watched, I haven't watched. I haven't watched Looney Tunes. I haven't watched Looney Tunes like that. Either. Even commercials. Really if you see T-shirts with Looney Tunes on it, all of that, like they got rid of that nigga. Mm. I got him on mm. the stuff. I got on the DVDs, but now that you say that, I'm surprised That's they haven't the changed him. You know how they changed Cookie Monster? He now eats vegetables and shit like that. Oh, get the what? fuck out of here! Wait, what? Cookie Monster eats vegetables. Diet. Get the fuck mm. out of here. Oh yeah, they made him eat vegetables, so you know he's still a cookie monster, but he eats, he eats vegetables. He eats why cookies they, and vegetables. Why did he just start feeding them bitches? Bitches, huh? Oh my goodness! Come on! Does he eat the cookie? Come he on. eat the cookie, Freddie. Yeah. Come on, man! <laughs> that was too fucking easy, right there. I got that one. I'm high as fuck, Freddie. It's just no, bro. On the, on the uh, kids, I'm still on the kids side. Kids take him side. off the, the kids. Take him off the kids kid. side. Put him put in the adult, adult show. And he just eat, he, he just eat boxes. He just eat num, boxes num, all num, day. Num, num, yeah, num, yeah. Num, num. Influencing all, all these grown niggas to walk around like eating boxes. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, they should like, eat yeah. more pussy. They should not eat more you pussy. Realize, they should not. You you do realize eleven out of ten dudes eat pussy. Yep. Yeah, I guess I would be the only that's, one. That's a lot. I eat pussy too. It just got to be mine. Eleven out of ten dudes what? is eating pussy. Shut the so fuck up, Freddie. How, how do you know it's yours? How do you know it belongs to you? Shut the fuck up, Freddie. How do I know it belongs to he me? Tells it's, him not even the fact that, it's not even the fact that it belongs to me. It's just the fact that we're working together throughout life, and so therefore, I don't mind eating your pussy. Said, but if I, I'm okay, just fucking, you should have said pause because you said. Ain't nobody, I ain't eating a box unless it's mine or something like. Yeah, I mean, I can't eat my own box. It ain't Marilyn Manson around here, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. You ain't get, you know. get your rib removed. See, you, see, know. Like, you so much of a motherfucker. <laughs> you so much of a motherfucking pimp, Freddie. You don't know, uh, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you ain't never told a nigga that, that he belonged to you, huh? She she left. She left the conversation. Oh, I do. I'm one of those, boom. You oh, you lie to him, dude? No, I mean it. Oh. You mean what? That today. You belong to them? <clears throat> yeah. So um, Oh, well, yeah, because you're getting married. You're getting married. She got that married. Crazy. So uh hey, oh, you missed it. He asked if you ever told the dude he belongs to you. Yeah, of course he hasn't. I don't love these niggas. Um, no. Why would I tell him that? Right. Heartless. You never saw my pen? Mm mm. You never that's my my pen? None of that? Um, or bring me my pen? None of that? You don't never send that to me. bro. She lying. She's Freddie, trying to put on for the I camera. Just, I just want to know. I just want to know. When it comes to being sexual, what's the most aggressive thing you ever said to a dude? Like I need to know, cause the way you talk, I, I just need to figure this shit the fuck out. I need, and I feel like everybody wants to hear the answer to this question right here. What's the most aggressive thing you have ever said to a dude? Cause I don't got the way you talk. I don't got you saying, "Yo, come over here, put that dick in my mouth." None of that type of shit. Never. Why I don't got Freddie do? saying it. I don't know. I just don't got Freddie saying it. So, what's the most aggressive thing you ever said to Thank a nigga? Motherfucking Freddy Mataka. I mean, it's pretty much on the same lines of that. Like, no, you know, say it, nigga. No, nah, we ain't doing that pretty <laughs> much on the same lines. We ain't doing that tonight, nigga. Say hey, it. Mister. I want to know Come exactly what you forehead. said and how you say it. I hate y'all. I know you do. We love you too. Fuck out of here. Come uh, shove it in my throat. Um, Slap it in my face. Shut up. <laughs> the fact you really do sound like a phone sex operator is crazy. You know but keep going. Um, the most aggressive thing, I guess, like. Um... She's nervous right now. This is crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be private about that stuff. Oh, yeah, we know. Oh, I'm sorry, we, Freddie. We, we cracking that shell tonight. Man, she ain't picking no nigga up. We cracking that shell tonight. Huh? You on the deep freezer. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I mean, 
I guess when you going you gonna come over and like you know we uh, don't I'm... know <laughs> <laughs> we don't know <laughs> what do you mean that's how you ask them you gonna come over and you know like, like, giggling. like yeah, I'm no, sorry Freddie I'm we so wanna sorry hear, we wanna Change hear that bro. aggressive Freddie Mataco terms we wanna hear that shit I mean, like it's 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 overdue. It's it's um it's, it's juicy. Overdue. It's yeah, it's overdue. It's juicy and it's waiting, and it's time for you to take care of some shit. So come on, so I can it's bounce. Juicy you. and it's waiting. So come okay, on, yeah, I'm on my way right now. Okay, Mataco. You know something like that. I thought, you had, I thought you had some game, man. I thought you had some game about yourself. You don't play me, man. Don't do her. I all like that, that. All that all that shit you be talking off stage and you won't get on here and act like that. What you mean? Why are you so aggressive with me? What's wrong? Yeah, man, you supposed to talk that shit. You all wanted right, me to body slam you wanted me to put a body slam in there? Like, <laughs> hey, nigga, I'm gonna come over and body slam you. Like bring me that thing. dick, nigga. Like tell the truth how you be. You know how you be talking that shit in the back. Because yeah, she still she still ain't really said the aggressive shit. I right. haven't. Because you yeah, know, trying mean. to be all shy and shit. Yeah, I still, I, <laughs> my child is still within earshot. You know what I mean? I'm, Man, that nigga, I'm pretty sure your child or children didn't heard you get your back broken at least once in their life. Well, I would hope not. Your mom, you ain't got to hope not because they did <laughs> at least once. Hope at least not. once they turned the TV up, like, ah, damn, mom again. Yeah. Are you loud, Freddie? Oh shit! Yeah, I yeah. can. Be. I can be. I say that. I can. The fact be. that she got verbal nervous just by saying "yeah" is crazy. <laughs> verbal, because I like them verbal females. Like I don't really like them. Like just when first, you, you gotta be You gotta be verbal too, though. Verbal? Oh, you want me to talk to you though? <clears throat> Real aggressive, like okay, clear. okay, yeah. yeah. Here we go. Now, Freddie, how would you coach him? <laughs> hey, 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 he's not pumping right. Pump to the left. Pump to the left, nigga. Like no, that's that too much. You're doing too much. No, you're no. saying like that. Pump to the left, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. with with some yeah. Tim's on. With some Tim's on. <laughs> she got those like, blue jeans to her knees. Hey, you hey, ready to say hit it hard, hey, son? Hey, she just she just flips the fucking white feet up over the neck real quick, like yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that aggressive? You want that aggressive? <laughs> no, I don't want that aggressive. Okay, I'm just like you know. So, so are you a whimperer, nah, a moaner, or around. a screamer? I guess that would all depend on what's happening. I don't like how everyone is screaming <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm curious, Freddie. Uh, okay. okay. So, <laughs> so what do you say you do more of? Whimper, moan, or scream? Or cry. Ooh. Ooh, shit. don't we? we don't we be weeping. We write a text out. You got the best tear? question. Oh, you a weeper. If you didn't got a tear, woo. Mm. 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 So what's wrong with me weeping? If she can oh, weep. She, cause, cause she's she a, a woman. Hold on, hold on. She got a vagina, nigga. What the <laughs> <fuck>? <laughs> That's the difference, nigga. <laughs> hey, what'd he say? Hey, what'd he, he, he just say? just talked about that. Boom, you can weep, too. You what he can say, weep, too, boom. Hey, what'd he say, Emron? What I was going to tell y'all earlier, I almost cried because it was so beautiful. Last night, mm -hmm. I yeah. was inside of you. Stop playing. He said it was song, nigga. Uh, Let's go. Yeah. So you telling us your theme song. Got you. Right to the front there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he was playing Aaron Hall in the background. I miss you. Hall. All right, so at this point, oh, no, we only no, got no, one no. more segment left. So let's see where the fuck we going. Her brain, the final frontier. These are the voyages of Freddie's mental mind. To bravely go. Shit. To boldly conquer. Shit, I don't fucking know. Man, listen, let's take a journey through Freddy's mental mind, goddammit, because we don't know where the fuck we're going and she don't either. Let's fucking get it. Good evening. Welcome to Freddy's Brain. 
I'm glad you guys tuned in this evening to listen to what I have to say. Um, so listen, the world is full of bullshit, right? Everything is full of bullshit. In theory, this is my theory now since we in my mental mind. Um, everybody's worried about aesthetics, how they look, you know what I mean? Um, they go to get the the booty implants, they go risk their lives to get titty and booty implants, the lips, and make them look ridiculous, the eyebrows, they put on this All shit. y'all can't be Freddie Mataco. Keep going. Well, hey, you can't. I can't help that shit. Put on other people's scalps and shit. Look like you got somebody else's thoughts and shit in your brain. You know, doing so much to look like other people. Even dudes going to the full out extent to impress bitches with all of this, that, and the other when really on the inside, you're rotting the shit. You know what I mean? Like, you could dress up all that bullshit you want to, but you rotten ass person in the inside. And no matter how many lip implants or booty injections and money you get, if you ain't a good person down to the core, you ain't shit. That's it. That's all in my mental mind. And it, um, it got me to thinking because I did an event and it's really a glorious place. Like people really talk it up like, oh, you should have your wedding reception there. And it's a historic place. And on the outside, it looked real nice and beautiful. And they charge top dollar for this shit. You know what I mean? But you go behind the scenes and the walls is all, you know, rodent infested and it's all nasty and shit. And I'm like, damn, people pay top dollar for this. For aesthetics, though. So, you know, it's, it's crazy that you say that because a lot of people go broke to eat at the most expensive restaurants and don't realize the kitchens are the worst. The, in worst. the most expensive restaurants. It, it's wild yeah. to me because it's like, um, you know, people just love like, oh, we put flowers up. We're doing this. We're doing that. But it's like, yeah, but at the core, this, this shit's still bullshit. You know what I mean? So what should we be doing? What's your thoughts on us doing something about this? What, what, how can we change? How can we change? Be be kind to yourself and one another. Change yourself on the inside, nigga. That's it. Why do you have change to work yourself on the you inside? To compare yourself to everybody. Why do you hmm. feel like you have to do all these stupid ass things to feel like you're important? So somebody can't just genuinely like flowers outside on the table and want everybody to come around and see their flowers. That's fine, but if you putting those flowers out there, like shit, everybody like these flowers. I'm gonna spend my last two, three dollars on flowers and fuck. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I, I, I get that. I get that. That's, that's, what, that's what the priorities fuck that. I'm talking about. That's okay. what I'm saying. Everybody doing shit to go broke to impress everybody. Like, okay, girl, you okay. got that booty lift today, but you you at Denny's waiting tables on Thursday Ooh, with the booty party. That's because she right. didn't make her only fans account. She's supposed to make you get you go spend five thousand dollars on your ass. That's an investment, bitch. Bust that so bitch open. You go, Yo, you go so, down to Brazil and get your booty lifted, but you you squatting in a house. You, you know, I didn't you I didn't explain you know? that so many times to so many females. If you getting your ass done just to walk around with it, you wasting your money. That shit is yeah, an investment. investment. If you forty years you, old, if you forty years old, you getting your titties lift. That's an investment. Uh, I think that's titties is different. That's an, that's an investment. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. I think titties is different. Titties more that personal. Is, huh? and, and yeah, yeah, I think titties is different. Well, uh, listen, from, 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 I'm, 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 a listen, listen, I'm, I'm just saying I'm from what man. I've heard. I'm a titty man and I'm saying this. That's an investment. Yeah, we know. No, we I, know get I get it. I get it. But more back. women get their titties done because they've had kids. They went through some stuff. Mm -hmm. They wanted lifted. And it's more of a self imaging thing for them. Mm -hmm. When you ask a girl when who you, goes you to spend, get a when you, you hold on, hold on, when you when you ask your life just so you can look in the when, mirror at your when own you titties. ask a girl who's going to get a BBL while you're getting a BBL, most of them can't tell you why the fuck they're getting one. Versus a girl who's getting a boob job to tell you why she's getting a boob job. Like I don't want to be a capital P no more. And Rom again. <laughs> Hey, air rod, nigga. I'm gonna get my teeth fixed, nigga. That's a fucking um. That's, nigga, that's an investment. That's, that's an, an investment. investment. No, no, no. But nigga, it's dangerous to my life too, nigga. I could die. It is. I agree. 
I mean, that's any surgery, though. When you that's what I'm do, saying. So you, you can't use that as an excuse when you say that. Use what an, as an excuse? You said you're willing to risk your life. What you say you're willing to risk you're your willing life? You're willing to risk or... your life just to walk yeah, around with something. Yeah, so I can fix my teeth. If that's what you want to do, cool. If you're willing to risk I'm your saying, life. That's the same difference. I'm going to get their ass done. I, I said that, nigga. What you mean? No. <laughs> I'm, all right, I'm lost, nigga. What? No, because I don't think me going to get my teeth fixed is a bad thing or risking my life. It I didn't say, listen, like... getting your ass done, getting your titties done, getting lipo, getting your teeth done, getting your nose done, none of that is a bad thing if that's what you choose to do. You're still risking your life for it, and it should be an investment. If you're going to get your nose fixed and you work oh, at McDonald's right. for what? But if you want to get your maybe they got that green. If you going to get your nose fixed so you could be a model or be in movies, that's another thing. If you getting your ass done just to sit at home and do nothing, what the fuck was the point? You getting so your what should she do with that ass? Sell it. What should she do it? Investment. If you're not, you should be. You should be making money off of that shit somehow. You bounce hey, it from one it? nigga to another with that ass. Bounce that ass here and then bounce that ass there to another yo, nigga. Can we do a price limit then real quick? If you if she spent ten thousand on her ass, how much should she charge a nigga per session? How do you know she spent that? She probably okay. didn't spend it. She might have fucked it up there and got let's it. Let's just say let's just say let's just yeah, say these shows come, is, Let's say these shows let's come say with she a price spent, tag. I agree. So I'll say this. Let's say she spent 10 bands. I'll do the math. Each time a dude hit it, maybe 200. How long, how long would it take so, her to get her 10 so, bands? So hold on, hold on. Get... Wait, 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 wait. Because you told us for that price that a, a slice of ass comes with that price. Yeah. So she giving up ass and pussy for that 200 still, right? Definitely. That new booty definitely got to get hit. Okay. So she giving up ass ass on her pussy a hundred and her booty hole a hundred. That's pretty much what we're saying. Yeah. Two hundred dollars. Seventy five in the mouth is fifty. Just two hundred. Mm -hmm. The fact that you know the price list is crazy, boo. Yeah. I, I, I told. I, I mean, two hundred dollars is easy I, to break down in so many ways. I, I told you. Uh -huh. I don't think I'm joking. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what? Wow, boo. You the biggest pussy pair. Oh, you got pussy pair where, contracts. Hey, boom. Where daddy at? <laughs> Who? Daddy. Slotty Daddy. Oh my Jesus. Christ. Oh wow. We definitely want we definitely did not need to see that, my nigga. <laughs> not that serious, my nigga. Not that right. serious, oh. my nigga. Hey, oh. she mad if, you got, right if, now. if you can ask, if you gotta ask Freddie, you ain't paying attention. She and she I, and she mad at me. She mad at me right now is because that the uh, Mm -hmm. she, she mad at me right now because I left her uh, charger home. You sleep with it under your pillow, boom? No, this is my top bunk, man. Oh, oh you yeah, got two yeah. bunks. So, so the top bunk, so so the top bunk is the free Wait, 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 wait. You treating it like a hotel, my nigga? You fucking <laughs> one bed sleeping up? Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Oh, so she got her own bed and you got yours. Okay, so well, she know what time no. it is when you climb on top. She, she normally sleep with me, but I forgot her charger at home, so she kind of mad at me right now. You know you can buy another charger. It ain't got a USB. It's got its own, like, she got her own little, like, she got two holes. I thought they all did, but got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, most of them, well, she do got three holes. I ain't going to. Got you. Boom. What's the difference between a real friend and a close hater? Mm. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I can't answer that question. Um, I, I don't know. I can't answer that question. A real friend, in my opinion, of a real friend, motherfucker, that's gonna ride or die for you. But a close hater, they say your realest friends is your closest haters. I was about to say a close hater, though, man. Like, I don't know. It depends on what they're hating on, though. Like, don't go around telling motherfuckers I got like STDs and shit. You know what I'm saying? But hate is hate. It don't matter what form it's in. Yeah, but then that's it's not a good serious so. That's not a good hate. You know what I'm saying? That's not a good hate to have. I mean, you could have a business and they hating on your business on the low. I mean, that's cool. I'll take that. Hey, that's why I say hate hard. is hate. No, nah, because if you're walking around telling motherfuckers like that nigga boomers, that nigga boomer makes some nasty ass cornbread. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then motherfucker might be like, Oh, he might just be hey, let me go try boomers cornbread. 
Or but, or motherfuckers who be like, oh shit. You got you gotta remember a lot of people go off hearsay. So if the right motherfucker tell them that your food is disgusting, they gonna not show up, not even knowing that your food actually might be not bad. They also gonna hear about me punching that motherfucker in their mouth for hate, and since they are close hater, they ain't a far away hater. They're close. You normally don't know who your close hater is. I'm just, Facts. I, That's I why know. I said it's said that your closest hater is your realest hater is your closest friend. Damn. Well, my mom. I don't know. Some. Well, go ahead. Next person. Because it's usually the motherfucker that's the closest to you that know the most about you that hates the most. Because typically you doing something they can't do or you in in rooms that they can't get in, et cetera, et cetera. Shit, that sounds like a partner. That could be true. That could definitely be true. Hectic, you know the difference? Nah. They the same thing to you? Both haters. They could be one and the same. I've been mm. through a couple of stuff the past couple of years, so they could be one and the same. I had a uh, someone I kind of looked up as a mentor in the porn game, kind of like a big homie, you know what I mean? And um, me and See, him so started, when I call you little nigga, you, you, you look at me crazy, but keep going. Calling yeah, niggas big homie is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, think, but go ahead. Is it? How? You too old for that shit, nigga. We don't call niggas big homie no more, nigga. After what, we, after what, what you call him? No what, what you call him? We call that nigga a homeboy or a partner or something. Nigga, we'll call that nigga no big brother. The fuck, nigga? Hey, my big bro. Oh, I, I definitely got motherfuckers I call big bro. Hey, because you're a little nigga. Hey, that's <laughs> technically everybody a little nigga to somebody, but okay. No, I'm a big nigga. Always. Big dog boom. Go ahead, though, heck. All right, All little right. nigga. Talk your shit, so, heck. So, um, someone we shit, be on the phone for hours, just, you know, cutting it up. Uh, This chick that neither one of us ever met was something... Supposedly we supposed to work with, right? So the chick wanted me to be her dom, and she put something out on Twitter. So he commented, and she's like, "Oh, he'll tell you da da da." da. So then, like, I'm calling dude and just being weird. You know what I mean? Come to find out, dude liked the bitch and hated on me because the bitch liked me. And I was like, "Bro, I don't give a fuck about like I don't." I don't give a fuck about the bitch like that. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't miss, and to put it in perspective, I miss business opportunities and all this stuff overdue because dude wasn't liked in the industry. You see what I'm saying? But but me, I'm a loyal person. So if I fucks with someone, pause, hey, I, I'll walk away from money. I don't care. Like, my morals and shit mean more to me than money. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, just to come out, like, we fell out over a bitch that I didn't really give a fuck about. I never met the hoe, never, you know what I mean? Like, so, so yeah, it's it could be one and the same. And that's someone, like I said, that I thought was, like, will hold it down and shit like that. For me, like, I held it down. Like, even when people used to talk shit about him, like, yo, y'all don't really know him. You know, woo -doo, woo -doo, woo -doo, this and that and the third. And, like, we fell out over a bitch. And so then he came back full circle, apologized, woo -doo, woo -doo. And then another bitch ended up spending the weekend with me, whatever. He found out, got mad at that shit. I was like, yo, I can't, I can't do this shit, bro. I that's how that's I, it. Be I like can't that, do though. this shit, bro. <laughs> Over listen, and this was a Tatiani. Like this was a this was a this was a slut bucket for real, for real. You like you <laughs> mad over a slut bucket, my god? Come on now, stop it. That's how that shit be. Amron, you agree? Or disagree? No, for me, um, a friend is someone that's really happy for you, even when they shit fucked up, you know? Um, And a hater is somebody that, you know, just always found the negative. I mean, it, to, to you, they happy. That don't mean they happy when y'all not around. You know what I mean. <laughs> I, get, I, I get exactly what you say. Uh, but what I'm saying is, a lot of times, man, your closest hater is that motherfucker in your face. They rooting for you like a mug. But then, as soon as you not in the room, ah, man, they got damn some Ron, shit. Yeah. Damn right on some nut shit. She out here trying mm -hmm. to fuck these niggas mm -hmm. in the ass. Man, she on some bullshit. Mm -hmm. But then, when she with you, when she with you, she like, yeah, Amron, destroy that nigga. 
Do your mm. fucking thing. It be bitches like that. You right. Well, I mean, especially I, I know a couple females real tight with each other, and the whole time the one chick going to tell her about her man and how he ain't shit, and she's like, yeah, fuck that. And then she's the one going around the girl back, fucking the same dude. She telling her to leave. Like, that's crazy to me. That's wild, man. Mm-hmm. No, that's, that's real shit. Cool. Hammer, I mean, Dude. Freddie, how you feel about it? A uh, close friend or a, a close hater? You said a best friend or a close hater? A good friend. What's the difference between a real friend and a close hater? Your real friend should be telling you, like, holding you accountable. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. um, they know your a real friend, like, really knows your character and knows your capabilities and knows that you're better than certain situations you may put yourself into or, you know, something like that. Where a close hater is like, you know, um, they just... Like Amron said, you seeing the negative and everything for no reason. They you a devil's advocate, if you will. You know what I mean? Everything I say, you just throwing a little fucking uh wet blanket on my little fire, like, hey, I think I'm gonna do this. Oh, you know, if if you do that, you gotta do this and this and this, like just putting roadblocks up a front of shit. You know. Why, why do you think so many people can't take criticism from the quote unquote closest friends like i never understood that it could be delivery how how is being delivered or what you speaking on you know what i mean depends on what you speaking on what topic some people don't like if you like hey you let your kid talk to you that way or you know what i'm saying or you're not allowed to talk about that and it's crazy because everybody be like it take a village, but when the village speak up, now you all defensive and shit. Mm-hmm. But skills. also, too, I feel like sometimes, and I had to learn this right, even like with dealing with different females, just because someone's telling you their issue doesn't mean they want you to help them solve. It. Oh, that too. Yep. That doesn't. Sometimes mean- they just they just want you to listen, and yeah. they just want to get it off their chest. They not looking for advice or yeah, you but. Know, I, I understand that, but I think sometimes you don't see your your flaws because they're you. Yeah. You 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 know what I mean? So I think a real homie should be able to come to you and be like, yo, yeah. yo, Freddie, you ain't got stuff that much, dick. Like, relax a little bit. You know what I mean? Wow. Instead of being Thanks. like, bitch, I can eat all the dick I want. Who the fuck <laughs> the fuck you talking to? Man, like, Freddie, you eating all the dick. <laughs> 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 you, you just a dick gobbler. You just you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like, me, friend. Like, it's think, not me. As a real friend, as a real friend, somebody should be able to say, "Hectic, yeah. you ain't got to be lame all the time. Like once a week is good enough." And Hectic <laughs> got to be like, you know what? You absolutely right. Boom. I'm not gonna be at this lame of a person seven days a week. Like I feel like your real people that you fuck with should be able to come to you and talk to you about shit because they see it. You get what I'm saying? We get so used to certain shit that we do all the time that it becomes second nature. We don't even see it no more. So your homies, your real homies, your close folks, they should be able to come to you and say, yo, man, you slipping over here, man. What the fuck is you doing type shit? You know what I mean? And as your real friend, you should be able to listen to them without getting mad first. You know what I'm saying? Just like, hey, for real? Oh, okay. Let me think about that. So I can think about my own accountability, but that, it, you know, people don't want to be accountable. That's they true, mean. but sometimes I don't, I don't, I'm not in the mood to hear you. Like, you can only teach someone who wants to be taught. That's that too, yeah. That's, That's too. Of course. You know what I mean? So if you're trying to teach me something, but I'm not in that headspace to learn this lesson, like, fuck you. I, like, okay, case in point, right? I had a l- young cousin. I knew her since she was way younger than me. So she was moving. Is she kind older of than you now or something? I was about to say. <laughs> the way you Wait, get what? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm saying she's younger than me. My bad. So, she was way younger than you. Exactly. Than like, you what, I mean, how the okay. fuck did that happen? <laughs> Ask me. <laughs> Whatever. No, that's okay, GD. Whatever. So, anyway, she was moving funny. So, 
I reached out to her. I'm like, hey, cuz, you know, don't move like this. You should be moving like that with the woo. She was like, you think you know everything? Woo, do, do. And I was like, you got it. Never said shit else to her ever again. But I also had to take accountability for my actions as well in that situation because she didn't ask me shit. She didn't yeah. ask for my advice. You know what I mean? So I had to learn how and when to give unsolicited advices. So now when people, if people don't ask me shit, you got it. Even at work, if people fucking up, I'm kind of letting them fuck up. I mean, fuck. You know what now, I mean? I'm going to be honest with you. If I fuck with you and I see you slipping, I'm just going to say something. If you mad, you if you get mad, you got mad, it is what it is. Oh, but at oh, the same lies. time, at the same time, I'd rather let you know so you got something to think about later versus you keep make keep you keep fucking up and not even realize you fucking up. Listen, I have one life. I have one life. I could only focus on me and mine. Even you know what I mean? Even people in close proximity to me, I have to allow you to fuck up. You see what I'm saying? Because that's the only way you're going to learn. If I tell you that stove is hot, you're going based off of my word, but you don't know how that hot stove really feels. You got to go through that. Some people have to go through the bullshit they have to go through in order to learn. If someone's always there to protect them and Superman them and be like, nah, don't do this, don't do that, they will never learn in well, life. What I'm... What I would imagine, like, okay, if you see somebody heading into oncoming traffic and you're like, hey, man, you really shouldn't do that. You're my friend and I love you. You know, are you going to say something then or you like, shit, you got to learn your lesson, nigga. Like, if, you, if they don't see them fucking cars coming. But that's what I'm saying. Like, so in a situation where they're not really savvy about or in. All right, so I just want to say, Hector, Hector, I'm okay with criticism. Don't let me get hit by a car to learn no fucking yeah, lesson. Man. Man. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> like just let me know. No, for, for me, I'm going to be like, yo, you that fucking dumb. You don't see this uncoming car? Like, get the fuck out of the way. I might say something because I don't want to see you get hurt. But afterwards, I'm going to be like, bro, what's going on? Like, you, 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 you okay? You want, like, you need to talk? Because to me, that's the only reason you're walking in uncom, you know, coming traffic is because you just want to end it all. You know this is a surefire way. Let the motherfucker end it all. I'm tired of y'all trying to save motherfuckers. Who... Well, what I'm saying, like you, you know, your friend is going into something that they're not like a um a contract that they may not be savvy in, and they didn't really ask you, but you read it over like. Mm. You ain't going to say shit to him. You ain't going to point it out like, hey, you should. How did how did I get the contract? You missed the commas. Okay, I see what you're you saying. I got you. They didn't ask your advice, so why the fuck you get to see it anyway? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, they how did you get the contract? You got some advice. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, in a subject that you savvy and you still going to keep your mouth shut. And it, did, they, you know, did, they, did they come in? Hey. Hectic. Uh, can I ask you some questions? Okay. I mean, they just rattling off stuff like, yeah, I got this APR and this, da da da. And you like, damn, that shit horrible. <laughs> but you ain't gonna say shit too. <laughs> I mean, I might so I might like if you talk you like just financial let them overpay, you know what I'm saying? If you're like, talking right. about if you're talking about like something I'm uh, I'm deep involved in, like um financial literacy or something like that right yeah, and you're saying no, and you're and you're just talking like man i don't really know how stocks and shit move i'll be like oh well let me simplify it for you if if it's a dollar it's a dollar a share so so if you buy say, you know what i mean i'll, let's I'll say, say some let's say boom wake up tomorrow i'm going to wake up tomorrow no no, no listen let's say Let's say Boone wake up tomorrow and decide he want to be a successful whore. You wouldn't help him out and, and tell him certain shit? No, he competition. Ooh. What? Ain't oh, no competition. Ain't no competition. I'm certified. Award winning. Um, I don't pay. <laughs> award winning. <laughs> Yo, y'all uh, 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 niggas compete uh, with words and everything. Uh, 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 I just didn't record, man. I should have recorded that shit. And, um, if Boom came to me on some for real, for real, and was like, hey, I'm thinking about doing X, Y, and Z, 
and he actually came. No, from no, no. A, like he don't he don't ask you anything. You realize you realize that tomorrow no. he's becoming a he wants to become a successful whore. You no. see him moving in those directions. You wouldn't say, no. "Hey, boom, let me put you on a little bit of game." You wouldn't do no. none of that. No, because I've done that too many times. I've done that with people we know. Yeah, you know I mean, I nah. It's how many? It's almost oh, like but people we know. Like I know these people. So how many times do I need to waste my breath? In, like I've had people, even cousins, right, join the military knowing that I was in the military. Didn't ask me shit. I've had people that I said, "Hey, I see how you're moving. You need to come over here, and fuck with me." Boom, boom, boom. I give you some great quality. Da da da. They go fuck with the next bull or someone else that's more popular or whatever the case may be, or just do it years later. And then I'm like, what he, I, I've been told you, you should have did this. But what he asking you is, those people that went to the military, they joined because of you. What he asking you is, if you've seen them about to go sign up, would you be like, hey, before you sign up? Or do they need to come and ask you, hectic, before I sign up? That's what I'm, that's what I'm telling you. They didn't ask me. They, they know they might not. He's asking you if you see them going to do it, are you what going if, to what intervene? If, if someone's going into the military and signed on the fucking dotted line, what the fuck am I supposed to tell you at that point? See, at that point, you're not you're not listening. If I'm if I'm if I'm sitting here, I'm in the military and I see yeah. my little cousin, where you going, bro? I'm finna go sign up for the military. Oh, am I gonna at that point that's, you work and go sign up, or am I gonna be like what, hey? That's you what you're what, that's what you're not understanding. I didn't even get that. That's what I'm saying. He's asking you if. That's the question. <laughs> no, if they came and asked me, that's not totally came different. And asked you if you so knew. What, what he's saying is what Hectic is saying is he doesn't find out until after the fact. I get it. I we understand that. So, but that's what, not what he asked. What him. Boom is saying is exactly what I just said to you. Not they came to you. Let's say you yeah. all right. Let's let's put it in a different perspective. You mm -hmm. walking down the street, do 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 do, do <laughs> and then you see your little cousin, <laughs> and they like walking towards, uh, the fucking uh military, recruiting. the recruiting office, and they like mm -hmm. you know do 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 do. They walking in there all proud and shit. You ain't gonna say yo, cuz. Let me holler at you real quick before you walk in that door. Or are you gonna be like, oh hey, walk to the door, fuck them. It just depends. It depends what kind of cousin. Because I've had customers. <laughs> what kind of cousin? Well, this I, nigga. I've had, no, I've had, I've had. No, listen. I had customers. He and, ready Simoning the shit out of this. <laughs> I've had customers come in, and I'm like, oh, and I seen you. Oh, what you doing? Oh, I'm Thank about to join the military. And I'm like, oh, what branch? Da, da, da. And then I do give them a little bit of game. But that's not me telling them any life lessons. That's not me trying to persuade them any which way. And those people are already dead set on what they're going to do anyways. I'm just trying to help you navigate Bro, the situation. If you tell me we get paid every Thursday and I'm used to getting paid every two Thursdays, that's probably enough information for me to be like, fuck it, I'm signing up. Now, you didn't give me all the juicy shit like, oh, nigga, you got a monster hey, floor at 3 a.m. pause. <laughs> You got a month oh, floor at 3 a.m. or whatever, but you just told me just enough by you telling me we get paid every week. I'm down there ready to sign up. Most so most people changed my whole life. Either way, you could have stopped me listen, from signing up by saying you, when you can when it comes to when bad. it comes to those types of situations, and I'm gonna be for real for real. If you have a motherfucker that living on the couch of their mom's house or not even that. And you say, hey, join this, and I'm gonna give you three hots in the cot, and da 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 da. da. Most people are gonna be like, "That's a way better situation than where I'm in." I don't that's, give a fuck what, what kind of situation. Part, that's actually, why I joined. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what man, kind of what I have to go question, through. Man, I'm giving you. It could be real fucking life making shit. beats, my nigga. I'm saying we don't use mil we don't use military because you've been a part of that, and you say because of your cousins. It could be beats, bro. If you a fucking beat maker, my nigga, and you Still, see a nigga over here no. making some beats, and this fucking cadence ain't right. Are you gonna be like, "Hey, bro, if you turn this up and turn this down, your where's my points at?" Won't. Where's my? Because if I help you with that beat, where are my God points at? Damn, you a you you fucking you's a diabolical nigga. 
I mean, I'm just saying, because if you make that hot beat, if you make that hot beat and you give it to Drake, are you going to say, yo, my boy Tech helped me with this beat? You know, no, most people will be like, yeah. All you did was tell me with the tempo. All you did was tell me with the tempo. I don't know if you know how music works. I don't know if you know how music works. If I come in there and help you change one fucking thing, I deserve fucking credit. All you got to do is turn one knob and he deserves credit. Okay, I'll give you that. But what I'm saying is at this point in time in life, nigga, each one teach one, bro. If you see me trying to do something and you see that I can't figure something out, what is the point? But that goes back full What's circle. That's full circle. You have to come to me to want to be taught. I can't teach someone who doesn't want to be taught shit. Bro, that's like that's like bro telling me that's like bro telling me how I can clip up my video, sending me to the site and everything. He ain't have to do that. He you kept on you were me, willing to listen. You now, were I from podcasting. Now if I blow from podcasting from making clips, am I supposed to go back and be like, oh man, if it weren't for for raw, like that's what you say? It's like this. I'm coming to your house unsolicited, knocking on your door and being like, hey, hey, I heard you was maybe halfway interested in possibly <laughs> and listen to what you should maybe do because I did this. Now, I'm a hey, I'm, forcing your way into that shit. I'm now a Jehovah's Witness of whatever topic. I, I did that. <laughs> so, right. I see you over there, bro. If I see you over there struggling, right. if I see you over there struggling with a wheelbarrow, bro. And hey, did y'all you know, know that the Jehovah's Witness different. was a cult? I did not know that until recently. All this shit is a cult. Religion, yeah, all of it politics. Is. Yeah. No, but I didn't. I didn't know how serious of a call. Oh yeah, it is deep. Was like I, yeah, didn't, it's I, didn't, deep, deep. I didn't realize to, that till yeah, recently. That and I knew I actually had some homies that was uh, J Hobus. Yeah, Dang. but Dang. but but no, thank you, Freddie, because that's exactly what uh, I'm saying. Thank you, like, Freddie. who wants unsolicited? I don't want someone to come and give me unsolicited advice. I have a couple homeboys that I know do camera work. If I have questions. I know I can reach so, out to them at I'm any a, time. I'm gonna be honest with you. If, if I fuck with you, if you fuck with me, I feel like you should do that. I feel like if you see that's me, entitlement. That's no, 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 an entitlement. That's, not not saying that. What I'm saying is, if you see, cause, just because of the type of person that I I am, if I see you slipping, I'm gonna help you out. Like he just said, I I found out about the clipping. I put a bunch of motherfuckers on. Yo, do this. Check this out. Go check that out. That's just me. That's just how I am. And yeah. I did that for motherfuckers that I'm super close to and for people that I just know. Yo, mm-hmm. check this shit out right here. That's just me. So I mm-hmm. feel like, you know, if you see me slipping or you see where I, I, I could be helped out, I feel like if you fuck with me, then you should be like, yo, bro, boom, boom, so, boom, this is that and the third. Now, no, 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 what I do, now, what I do with the information is on, on me. me. Mm-hmm. But so let least, me ask you. But at least you did your part and you delivered the information. Teach one, teach so one. let me so let me ask you, right? If you yeah. went to Freddie, uh-huh. you said, Freddie, hey, this opus, you need to get on that. And she's like, oh, I can. And then you say, Freddie, hey, you need to go oh, ahead and get gonna, this. I'm not going to ask her again. Hey, we're not about to force you to do shit, my nigga. I threw it. No, I'm going to say it. No, I'm going to say it one time. If you. No, no, no. But I'm, I'm talking seat. about if different. You water, that's up to you. But but no, I'm talking about that. But you go to her and say, hey, Zoom, you need to go ahead and get Zoom. It's going. And she's like, oh, okay. And you go back. You say, Freddie, um, you know, instead of you using your phone, go ahead and get your laptop. She's, oh, okay. But she does none of them shits that you ever told her about. Mm-hmm. How many times are you going to keep going to... But you're hey, moving Freddy? the goalposts now. I'm, How? I'm, I'm going to be honest Because you. you ain't never told a nigga not to go to the military more than once. You never told him not to go to that motherfucker hat on. You don't know. You, never said nothing you don't know so what I've, I've done. done. You <laughs> just said they didn't come to you, so you just said they didn't come to you. you don't, so don't I'll, do that. You, you just don't said know. They didn't come to you, you, so you didn't say nothing. Yes, to I've had cousins no, that joined the said, fucking military like, that you, did not ask that. me any questions right, bro, before said, joining the fucking military. So what the okay, fuck? Okay, so we're going off for the conversation, like nigga, we're going off for the conversation. But now, if so, off for the the conversation of what you're saying, you're saying one at a time, niggas. But I've had had people come and ask me, hey, I know you joined the military. What That's do, the only way they're going to get some you, information out of you. How am I know, How am I going to know they want the fucking information? Because you've seen them walking into the building. I don't see them doing shit. <laughs> I don't see them doing the fuck off thing. God, man. This, this is hilarious right now. Listen, 
It doesn't even fucking matter, really. No, it doesn't. But <laughs> <laughs> we about to get the fuck out of here, but I will say this. I'm the type of person, I'll throw you a thousand gems. What you do, what you do with them is what you do with them. Yeah. I still feel like I did my part. That's just me. I'm one of those type of people. I do believe in each one, teach one. That's just me. Now, again, I could tell you a thousand things. That's up to you, what you do with them. I really don't give a fuck at that point because I'm not looking to see if you did it. I'm not paying attention to make sure that you did it. I'm going to tell you the information. What you do with it is what you do with it. Point blank, the fuck, period. Oh, but we get the time. Fuck, we get the, eh, I don't feel like I'm losing nothing. It's but we might get the fuck up out of here. What? If it's life and death, I'll say something like, mm. hey, you really shouldn't be uh putting that pneumonia with the bleach. <laughs> with the bleach and closing mm -hmm. yourself in the fucking closed off exactly. room. Yeah. That, but you know, but that's, you know, life and death. Hey, man, we, that's what makes us all different. That's what yeah. it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Hector, tell everybody who you are, where they can find you, what you got going on, all that fly, funky shit. So you could definitely find me on HecticDesires.com, DryBoom.com, uh, also on Whatever by Hectic. We're in our season two. Um, already start kicking off a couple episodes off of that. Definitely doing a shorter uh, season this year. Um, that is airing every saturday night on spotify at 8 p.m central standard time and on monday 8 p.m uh on youtube uh 8 p.m central standard time so i'm still talking my shit just different locations getting a little bit edgier um sharpening up my tools you know my toolbox as a podcaster and stuff of that nature so it's definitely uh going to be a, a roller coaster of a, a season so i'm excited about that and i appreciate the fact that a few gems i told you you are using those techniques for sure for sure i'm, I'm willing to listen you know what i mean <laughs> I'm, I'm an open book if someone wants to teach me something okay bet but everyone's yeah. not like that and so. as i'm pretty sure all y'all can see i don't got no problem i'll send you a random ass text yo i noticed this do this da -da. that's just me it is yeah. what the fuck it is uh boomer Talk your shit, little nigga. Yeah, man. So, um, shout out to everybody in this motherfucking world that, you know, still lives among the each one, teach one. <laughs> you know, some of us are willing to learn, but some of us are also willing to give game to the ones that don't have. So a lot of us that's not willing to give games to the ones that don't have, but. Yes, hectic. Hectic know. is not. I mean, well, he will take the game. They they willing to go our country and get out of the game. No, let me stop. <laughs> Land of opportunity. Black folk. <laughs> and fuck, fuck, fuck this shit. I love podcasting with y'all. I'm always talking my shit. That's really all I got for y'all, man. I just be podcasting with my nigga What the Shit DC over there with the shit Wednesdays, eight fifteen. My nigga all on the table over here, man. We rocking out. You man. gotta stop saying that shit, cuz. <laughs> you gotta stop saying that shit like that, cuz. You gotta stop being so freaky, man. But I got you, though. Shout oh, out to all balls on that too, nigga. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, boom. Live your truth. <laughs> the whole gang, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to the whole all on the table gang. You know what I'm saying, man. Most of these motherfuckers over here need a GED, but we ain't gonna get into that, though. You know what I mean? And that's all I got for y'all, niggas, man. Fuck the Caribbeans. <laughs> yo, yo, the whole whole Caribbean. Facts. Facts. The whole, on the island. I hope he don't visit no one soon. You know what I mean? Oh shit! Hey man, hey, they say one of us represents all of us. He represents all of them. Fuck them niggas. Hey yo, Miss Miss Mataco, talk yo, your shit. It's Freddie Mataco, ready to go. Um, you can catch me. I'm not quite sure. Somewhere <laughs> in September. Um, September 21st, I'll be in Dayton performing. Um, this Friday, actually, I'll be at Cafe Kerouac performing at eight o'clock, eight thirty rather. Um, and so far, that's what I got. I I just got booked in October somewhere as well, but right now, just hitting the open mics and working on my craft. I did wrap up my 30 minute special um, on um, recording last week. 
<clears throat> excuse me. So, um, you know, looking at that footage and editing all of that out and whatever, um, that was fun to be filming. So I had fun. The audience had fun. Lave even told me, like, she was like, um, something wrong with her. I was like, yeah, I believe so, ma'am. I believe so. So I've been meaning to ask you, um, have you had your, I guess, uh, aha mm -hmm. moment yet in, in stand up? Your aha mm -hmm. moment, like, like that moment where it's like, this is me. This is where I, I'm made to be here. Like that one moment that made you feel like, yes, this is, this what the fuck I'm about to do. I'm about to, this Mataco oh. about to shit on you motherfuckers. Um, my first, my very first time being at the Funny Bone when everybody showed up and, you know, they cheered for me. And that was my very first time on stage. I mean, that, that like solidified, I knew what I was supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? But like the the moment where it's like, oh, I'm about to go and turn this room up. Um, I don't know. I, I can't really pinpoint it because that's how I feel every time I go out there. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't no, like, uh, nah. Every time is like the room is packed. You know, even if it is two or three people, I'm going to act like it's not. I'm going to still act like it's 40,000 people every time that's I go the out. That's you should. So, you know, that's that. I, so, yeah, I don't know. You're only as good as your last time on stage. So I'm always trying to get better. You know, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. But look, yeah. we getting about this motherfucker. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know who the fuck I be. Your boy, boy, raw says. So Google me, bitch. I'm everywhere and nowhere at the same motherfucking time. And we out this motherfucker. Boom. <laughs> Yeah. You all ready? Check. Some boys. <laughs> Let's go. Check. 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 Yeah. Check. Check. Check out my melody. I was in the trap with open felonies, a different type of pedigree. The cloth that I'm cut from a little different. And when I with the ferals, this linen here is expensive. No hieroglyphics, my pimmy shit, something fancy. The lyrics that start hearing my shit in the up Danny. My plan B needed, she on the knees, half of the night. Head pulling, gagging on pipe, exactly my type. Wait for your cadence, check out my cadence, yeah. I'm your favorite rapper's favorite, I had previous arrangements A note for the plaintiff that ball dangerous Got it thrown out at my arraignment <laughs> He called his main bitch Bumping my record and got domestic What else? Well, got him in his feelings, the thought of her being naked Look, homie, got it respected, I really be on some shit Call him cake batter audience, I really be in the mix Pick your poison, I got multiple choices Voice for the voices The nut shit, I just try to avoid it It really ain't important unless money's the issue Now nah, it's official and my young been the Blocking up the pistol, that's the shit that I'm into Don't mean to offend you, but I'm a zip We like pouring up fans and popping shit Really shit I ever wrote They gon' quote it in comments and hashtags Comments and hashtags, yeah Told a nigga his bars is outdated And all of a sudden I'm hating that shit you niggas writing Just ain't exciting, I'm just saying it's more than likely that She probably belong to the streets as it got played Only if the song was on repeat A lot of dick deep and I've been peeped It is out of hand, no disrespect But when it come to your records, I'm not a I understand he probably stuck in his past My shit advanced, a life check for the VVS necklace No advance, so I'm the dangerous My slick talk and famous, check out my latest My vernacular is different, my nigga, I can't explain it a lot of strange shit You niggas picking fights Cause niggas pins is like I'm feeling like Niggas is bitter like Bitches I didn't pipe Lights came my action I'm blacking like When the lights go off Flow straight out of straight jacket Raised in the cycle war I recall Him reciting verses Off my last flow He dick eating He really a fan though Or use to let the can go I play the band though Where niggas can go My spot solidified I'm really stamped Blowing bud back to back Fuck a bitch in the camp You know how that go After that teddy bears And some candles Cause I can't dip it the boys and I got multiple choices, voice for the voices. The nut shit, I just try to avoid it. It really ain't important, and this money is the issue. Nah, it's official. Let my youngin' been the blocking up the pistol. That's the shit that I'm into. Don't mean to offend.
offend you, but I'm a zip. We like pouring the fan and some pop and shit. Really shit I ever wrote. They gon' quote it in comments and hashtags. Comments and hashtags. Yeah.